It's the Bob and Tom Show. Back in the not too distant past, when I would need a quick repast or a temporary break from my agenda. Off to the bedroom, I would head, pull out the Playboy from neath the bed, and sneak a peek at all the portraits of Pudenda. My alternatives were slim. If I tried to find another source for sin, I'd have to hang out with the losers in the back room of my local video store but last month i finally made the call i got a brand new cable modem installed and it opened up the floodgates on a whole new universe of internet porn internet porn roman orgy scenes internet porn dominatrix queens internet porn girl on girl on girl on girl on girl on guy on sheep internet porn gross anatomy internet porn pam and tommy lee internet Internet porn when you're given so much to choose from. Who has time to sleep? <laughs> Honestly, honey, I don't know how the link got on there. After my girlfriend goes to sleep, then I get out of bed and down the hall I creep so I can hunker down and wallow in depravity until three or four. You'll always find me in that same tableau, silly wetted by my monitor's warm glow and absorbing all the bounty from the cornucopia of internet porn internet porn barely legal teens internet porn naughty figurines internet geriatric german grandmas spanking spanish men internet porn erotic asian art internet porn guys with extra parts internet i don't think i'm ever going to see the sun again Internet porn, melonlove.com. Internet, there's my neighbor's mom. Internet porn, bikers wearing diapers, chasing nurses dressed like Smurfs. Internet porn, maison le clavage. Internet porn, on détroit ménage. Internet, every kind of smut from every corner of the earth. Well, good morning. That's an eye opener. Pornography. Hello. Hi. It's the Bob and Tom Show. That's Christy at the news desk. Yep. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. Our very own Dinty Moore. That's <laughs> that's a bright flannel. I like that very much. Oh, thank you. That says good, good morning. Is Dinty the guy's name? I think it was... Short for dingus or something, I think. They just dingus. called him Isn't dingus. dingus a slang term for the male dingus, member? That's dingus. what I was. That's dingus. what I was. Uh, that's what I was taught. Yeah, well, we use dingus. In I'm my not hands. sure dinty more would want to be <laughs> penis stew. I, uh, and there's Ace. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Dinty we more is a fine product. We got to get right to a couple of quick things. Uh, there was some debate yesterday about um, the pronunciation, the, the way one pronounces, I should say, um, Bella Lugosi. Anyone remember this at all? Yeah. What kind Wait, of a, what, what, what kind of a conversation is going on in your head when we're not around? Is it like, well, I got to get to that Bella Lugosi thing right away? You it's mentioned important. it literally in the last two minutes of the show, <clears throat> right? And you said, "Oh, this is a big controversy. Is it Bella or Bela?" And that was it. We didn't talk about it. Well, I, I could. Do you know who Bella Lugosi is? Yes. Well, he played Dracula, but I don't... I mean, we're... What, so why are we bringing it up and again? I don't think that many people know who Bella Lugosi is, though. How about Bela Fleck? Again. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> less people know Bela Fleck. Falling, falling on deaf ears. Yeah. Jazz musician? But we were talking... I'm glad you're bringing this up because we were talking about your psychological problem. <laughs> I think, but you're obviously not going to look at it mm -hmm. as a problem, but it, it, you feel like if you're looking at it and reading it and thinking about it... And it might it, be interesting to others? No, 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 no. Not might be. It absolutely <laughs> is interesting to others, and you need to tell people No, I, I think it. it's, it's important that we um, uh, keep the tradition in the show of getting things right. Uh, and, well, what did you learn? Uh, well, I, I got a nice note here. Uh, 
Uh, you know, Josh brings up a good point. The sooner we get through this, the better off we're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we find out? No, I'm from the Department of Anthropology at The Ohio State University. Uh, Butch was kind enough to write. Um, it is Bella. <laughs> well, in in Hungarian. <laughs> A A Y. Uh, he goes on at some length, but uh, good to know. Wait, A Y. So that would be Bela. Uh, yeah. He, he says in Hungarian the A Y has to be, and then he's got accent A G U over an E. Well, Bela Lugosi's E L A so, though. I know he says it's Bella. It's like Bella. Not he's got a <laughs> phonetic. I'm just pointing it out. Right? So that's one guy's opinion. I, I feel like this is only further the right the debate. It hasn't <laughs> exactly solved. I feel like one of those poor reporters who can't get an answer for a story, and they have to <laughs> wrap it up with, well, the important thing we have to learn, Josh, is we might not ever know. I mean, should we just go with popular pronunciation in Bella this case? Lugosi. Everybody yeah. says yeah, Bella. Everyone says Bella. Says Bella. Yeah, Bella. At this point. yeah, but if they get it wrong, uh, the better example would be, of course, uh, the band uh, The Guess Who. With, with what? What? Yeah, the guess. You know, the guess no who, one, what is it? Guess no what? No one <laughs> pronounces it the way you're going to pronounce it. Burton Cummings? Is that? <laughs> it's not Burton Cummings. That would be funny. Uh, Burton Cummings, of course, is the great singer from the band, the guess who, who, by the way, should be in the Rock and Roll Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go over that. Very yeah. disturbing to me. Uh, no, um, uh, it's Randy Backman is the correct pronunciation of Randy's name. And, and no one... And, I couldn't sleep. And it, it doesn't matter at this point what the correct pronunciation is. Everyone says Randy Bachman. Bachman Turner I'm sorry. Overdrive. Sorry, it's, it's sailed. They say it's Bachman done. Turner Overdrive. Say, That's your they, problem. They do. So that everyone yeah. has it wrong. Well, they say Bachman Turner Overdrive. Okay, my buddy who's Hungarian says it's Bela. B-A-Y-L-A is how it's pronounced. And as in Thank Bela, you, Bela Fleck. Yes. This guy says it's like Bella. He's an anthropologist, and they know everything, right? Unless he's from Hungary, no. Hungary? Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hungary, he's from Hungary. He's from Hungary. Yes. I don't know. I, it's always been Bella Lugosi, but apparently, I, I don't. Uh, this debate rages. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I think raging is is, is strong. Uh, well, just, no, no. Raging is the correct <laughs> term for, for what I'm feeling. I get the feeling there are there's more than one or two people looking at whatever they're listening to us on and asking, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> well, it was in, te, it was in Today yeah. in History. We so. led with it. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it out of the way. <laughs> I mean, we learned yesterday, you, for Pat. example, yes, that it out of the way. Do you remember what we learned yesterday about St. Valentine and why right, it's going to be and, and you know who's going to get yelled at about this? <laughs> you. Right here, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Don't you look at me. What did we learn yesterday about St. Valentine, Christina? Uh, that he was beheaded. So I've come up with a new slogan. Yeah. Oh. Because what is the symbol of Valentine's Day? Cupid. Heart. Uh, heart. The symbol, like the icon. Oh, the heart. Is the yes. heart. So shouldn't we give head, not heart? On uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, no, 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 you celebrated your Valentine's Day. <laughs> in, 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 well, I know, in, in honor of St. Valentine's head getting lopped off. Oh, that head. I didn't know that. It's kind of gruesome. Oh, they did a lot of horrible things back in the day, you know. I yeah, there were a lot of gruesome stuff yeah. going on, man. <laughs> but um, the controversy surrounding uh, Bela Lugosi was that uh, in 1931, on yesterday's date, Dracula starring the aforementioned Bela Lugosi was released. And what? it is a good one. That's a good one. What do you want to happen? So that one's we clarification. Can get, so I we get can right. get off of this topic. I wanted to say about their name, Bela Backman. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I think I think I just ate myself. I'm not sure what just happened. Uh, well, uh, thank you. Thanks anyway, uh, Butch, who was kind enough to write us. Uh, He's an anthropologist named Butch. There's your topic. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Well, Sounds come, like a half-assed anthropologist to me. Right. Sure, he's very distinguished. Yeah, I dropped uh, the bones. Uh, uh, coming up, we have, uh, interestingly enough, we have anthropology uh, news coming up. Oh. In the in the form of uh, of apes. Mm -hmm. Apes are in the news. It's kind of cool. Uh, King Kong uh, and Godzilla are in uh, teaming up. There, there's a new movie coming out. That they're they're uh, presenting it as a buddy movie. <laughs> and awesome. I, for one, can't wait. If at one point Godzilla doesn't turn to the camera and say, I'm getting too old for this <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that'd be so yeah. Funny. Uh, and uh, the, the, the informal tagline is, look, they don't have to like each other. They just have to work together. <laughs> I, nice. I love it. Yeah. I can't wait. Those are fun. Oh, that is great.
coming up. Well, uh, in, in honor of the forthcoming uh, uh, piece about uh, apes, mm -hmm. and it's about what is it? It's, it's about orangutans, um, gorillas, chimps, and what's See, the other? See, there's another chimpanzees, bon 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 bonaboos, bonaboos no one, and gorillas. When does something become? what everyone says it is instead of being correct. It's not orangutans. Yes, it yeah, is. it is. It's orangutans. orangutans. I'm sorry. Every, orangutans. I, I don't care what you uh, casual like zoo lovers it. think. We're not changing it now. Everybody says orangutan. I'm sorry. Forever, but that's incorrect. Wrong. Well, then you can walk around feeling superior. What do you mean? Of course you can walk around. <laughs> Drive around, walk around. Just be. Yeah. Nice. Just be superior. Yeah, okay. It doesn't um, matter, though. No one says orangutan. Yeah. And then you're going to spend all your time, look at you, uh, being validated by an idiot. Do you realize what you're doing? <laughs> I, well, that, oh. uh, well, I have um, an orangutan specialist that's a friend. Do you want me to have him call? Of course you do, yeah. Okay, well, coming up, we have an ape tribute. <laughs> Yay. Oh, all right. <laughs> which is uh, very nice. A lot of interesting things going on in the world of news. So uh, much for my point. This morning. Um, <laughs> no, no, yours was, it was heard. It no, was, no. I'd like more people to weigh in on the Bella versus Bela. Um, <laughs> no. If you're concerned about... Orangutan Orangutan and orangutan and orangutans is a little bit more oh, God, top of mind. Shut up, Jesus. <laughs> Coming up, we got marijuana in the news, AI boyfriends. God, am I getting sick of hearing about that? And um, are you sure you don't mean Al? A lonely donkey. <laughs> yeah, I, I always redo this. I rewrite them and I put A period, I period. I'm not falling for this uh, commie <laughs> Al stuff. Uh, right now, I want to talk about one of my favorite commercials from the Super Bowl. Chicken wing. It was chicken wings. It was. Uh, uh, Ken Jong, friend give of the show. The, give him the chicken wing. And he was frozen and he woke up and, oh, my God, Popeye's has chicken wings? He was frozen after 52 years. That's right, because it's finally happened. Popeye's fans everywhere experienced the perfect pairing of Popeye's commercial during the big game and new lineup of chicken wings at Popeye's. Man, five crispy, juicy flavors. We're talking sweet and spicy, ghost pepper, signature hot, honey barbecue, and roasted garlic parmesan. Now, are we going to get Ace to try the ghost pepper? Yes. Uh, we're going to okay. get all of us uh. to try all of them is what's going to happen. I'm not sure I can do a ghost pepper. I'm scared of that one. Um, yeah, that, you know what? That one might be <laughs> just for Ace. <laughs> but a lot of people out there have got that spicy tooth, if you will, and they're going to enjoy it. What else, uh, Chick? What, what are these wings good for? Besides well, now that the big game has uh, sailed off into the sunset, uh, you've got uh, March Madness, the basketball games, so tennis, baseball, pickleball, wiffle ball, wall ball, high lie even. <sighs> yes. You've got it all. Maybe I, even your cousin's cornhole tournament. You don't know. It, high lie is a blast. Ever watch that? Popeye's oh. chicken wings are Fastest suitable ball for in sports, Christy. Ever, everything. Really? Just baffled that hockey is not mentioned in there because there's nothing I like better than biting into a juicy wing while watching... Uh, the biscuit go into the basket. You know what I'm oh, saying? Nice. Winter season. Oh, by start. the way, Popeye's biscuits also. How can you not get They're excellent. Uh, very good to bring that into our Popeye's. Take uh, some wings discussion. to your next get together. Whatever's going on, maybe uh, get some for the neighbors too. They'll love it. The point is, people love wings, and you will also, Chickster. That's right. How about your cousin's court? We we're talking about the cornhole tournament, and oh yeah, uh, let's spend an hour and a half deciding on a movie that we're not actually going to watch. We're just going to eat wings and fall asleep. No that's, <laughs> that's the perfect event, Tom. No um, matter what's happening, order some wings from Popeyes today for your upcoming whatever. Enjoy them. You're going to love them. That's uh -oh. right. The point is, people love wings, so order some from Popeyes today for your upcoming whatever the heck it is. That's Popeyes Chicken Wings. Uh, coming up, uh, Corpse Wakes Up in a Hearse. Oh, it, we'll, no. We'll get to that one. Uh, by the way, it was on its way to the crematorium. Ooh. Yikes. Uh, and uh, and uh, apes have a sense of humor, according hmm. to uh, anthropologists and stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Coming right back with all that stuff. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Our guest in the studio is comedian Bert Kreischer, and uh, Bert is um, a veteran of the world of the party. He was uh, voted the number one party animal in the country by Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, Quite an honor. Many yeah, years ago. An honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you carry the mantle to this day. Yeah. You're now the, I guess you'd be the, what, uh, party animal... Uh, Ex officio, what would the, uh, uh, what is the party title? animal cum laude? Guru, maybe? Mm -hmm. Guru to young boys, Could probably? Be guru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd be uh, maybe not. No, you, you, you said you have two young daughters. Yeah, which is pointless because I have no advice for little girls. Uh -huh. Do you have advice for 
young men? I have tons of advice for young men. Are you really? kidding me? Yeah. yeah. Is this college age men going yeah. to? Well, it's like, it's like well, you, have a, you have sons, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know all the things. Do you have any girls? Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. see, and you got nothing to, t- to tell a little girl. Mm-hmm. Well, so far, they, they're in charge. They know what's going on. So. Yeah. I said, uh, I remember the first night we got my daughter. Or not got her, but had her. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> I know. Right. And she was crying real bad, and the nurse was like, um, the nurse goes, comes in, and she's, you know, wrapped up like a joint in a box. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess. That's what yeah, they, I yeah. uh-huh. And uh, mm. the nurse comes in, and she's, you are that's what I thought it was. You are, <laughs> you are a party animal. Okay. <laughs> she was like, uh, she was like, let's, uh, what do you, what have you done? I was like, nothing. Mm-hmm. She goes, what are you, what are you going to do? I was like, I'll put a towel over her face and cut the oxygen in half. I don't know, nothing. <laughs> and she goes, here's what you do. Take her head, put it by your heart, take your pinky, place it on her lower lip. Uh-huh. And allow her to draw it in. That'll calm her down. Uh-huh. So I do it. And sure enough, as soon as I put it on her lower lip, my daughter draws it in. Like she's trying to rip the nail off. Just. Uh-huh. I'm like, we're stopping this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not raising a daughter where that is her coping mechanism. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh-huh. She gets a little spooked. Yeah. Just, uh-huh. you know, no, thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> but I was, very, I was massively un- unprepared for d- girls. I just didn't know. I never even listened to women. Mm. I literally. Literally, I, the only advice I got, like, and this uh, for boys, mm-hmm. you ever get into a fight with a girl? This works every time. I did this with my wife. Twelve words. You are right. I am wrong. I love you, honey. You win. And you squash it. Really? You take her in your arms, you carry her into the bedroom, and you cuddle like a team. Mm. Like a, like a unified, like a coalition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scratch her back and let her go to sleep together, happy. She won. Mm-hmm. And that night while she's sleeping, <laughs> cut her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, just uh, a little just bit a so lot. you know you won. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice for a boy, uh, unapplicable for a girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bert Kreischer's our guest. I'm glad we have this on tape because oh, you're going to be dead God. very soon, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to use that as evidence, I think. Yeah, they're oh. gonna be, you're going to be uh, yeah. wheeled, out of, your, you wheeled out of your own home in a gurney. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Oh. It's forever, right? What am I counting the days for? You think guys doing life? Prison count the days? I don't think so. <laughs> you do your time. I'll do mine. <laughs> oh, no, I got out. Uh, you got out? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I escaped. <laughs> <laughs>
tell you what, if you asked me, the little whore was asking for it. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Like <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hello. Christy's here, Pat and Josh, Ace Cosby, I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold over there at Control Center. Thank you very much. Like now, Mission Control? Uh, we have uh, a number of interesting things coming up in the news, uh, including, do you know what gurning is? Mm-hmm. No. Gurning? Gurning? It's, just, it's like uh, taking a gurney and uh, riding it down a hill. Oh! It's, um... That's the best. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Um, trying to make the uh, most grotesque face that one can. That's right. We th- th- is there an annual contest yeah, for this? Yeah. There's always that famous picture that what looks to be appears to be a really old guy with his face all mushed up. Yeah, yeah. he tries to kind of swallow his face. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. yeah. Well, we we mm. have we have a a record. We'll get to that coming up. It's have you seen it? I'm looking at it right okay. now. Okay, and do you agree that maybe this is indeed the winner? Uh, oh, you... it, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, it, 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 it's freakish. Um, well, we uh, also have uh, some sad news from the world of Pop-Tarts. Yeah. But first, we turn to the sports page with Chick McGee. Yeah, some uh, unsettling news from Kansas City yesterday. The Chiefs Super Bowl uh, celebration, uh, the latest backdrop for a mass shooting. A gunfire sent fans scrambling for cover during the Chiefs' Super Bowl presentation at uh, Union Station. Left 21 people wounded and one woman dead, at least eight children among those who were shot. They're still in intensive care. Uh, It was right outside the historic Union Station, and it happened despite the presence of more than 800 police officers on hand for that parade. Police say three people were taken into custody immediately and firearms were recovered. There are a couple of guys. One guy from Omaha is being held as a hero. He, He ran and tackled the guy from... From behind, one of the one of the gunmen, he said, he saw the gun fall out of his sleeve. Uh, but the Chiefs say their players, coaches, and staffers, and their families are all safe and accounted for after that uh, incident yesterday at Union Station during the uh, Super Bowl parade. Well, much much love to everybody. Just uh, yeah. really really sad news mm. out of. Uh, out of kansas city uh tonight though in iowa city fans who want to be a part to say i was there caitlin clark setting the ncaa women's career scoring record oh they will be paying it says here an unprecedented premium for a ticket as number four iowa's game against michigan at carver hawkeye arena tonight it's trending toward the most expensive women's basketball ticket of all time tonight in Iowa City, pro or college. That's according to a secondary ticket seller. The average ticket price tonight to see Caitlin Clark, Clark to be in the building to set the record. She needs eight points to break the record. You need to come up with $394 a ticket. Okay. Ooh. So as uh, women's basketball continues to come on strong and um, big ratings out there. She's apparently a really good trash talker. Is oh, that really? Right? really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's part of the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. you know, you step uh, on the court. I yeah. heard this interview with one of her old coaches, and uh, like, like when she was in high school, they had to bring in uh, guys to uh, work with her from the, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, the trash tall, talk? taller, bigger, and they, they they would have did a lot of trash talk. So oh, that's fun. She's yeah. apparently she's apparently great at it, and I <laughs> I would I think perhaps basketball is. The greatest place for trash talking, because of the uh, proximity of the players. Yeah, and yeah. you never really get too far away from the person that you're uh, competing against. That's yeah. true. And the same thing's true of pickleball, right, Pat? Oh yeah, because you're right there. Oh yeah, we talk a good game. On yeah, and I mean, you tenna, talk trash. In, in, tenna, oh, in, tenna, in tennis, you got to yell at them. There's actually a lot of fights in pickleball. Is that right? Yeah. Really? I swear. Yeah. And, and Pat is the pickleball. Uh, Basketball's player. great. It's really clever. Usually funny. And I also I love the hockey chirping as well. That's what they call their trash talk, essentially, chirping. Can you hear yeah. it? Oh, <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, oh. and, and every now and again you'll hear one of the play-by-play guys, like especially somebody who's in between the the benches, go, "All right, well, the, the, you should hear the chirping going on <laughs> down here." But it's a Canadian accent, so it's yeah. Hard. So that kind of makes it. It's hard for us to pick it up. Mother, <laughs> mother, blank and egg. Oh, yeah, of dude, course, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. yeah. Yeah, but in any event, uh, Caitlin uh, tonight. Or perhaps we'll get the record. I, I can't sure. imagine she will not. She only needs eight points. Well, how about that? So and besides being a great shot, she's also a tremendous passer, apparently. 
like uh, the greatest. She just she could get that ball to somebody else. So, uh, uh, talent. Travis Kelsey has come out and said that, yeah, he might have gone a little too far when he bumped into uh, his head coach, Andy Reid, and screamed at him during the Super Bowl. And I'd like to thank uh, uh, several people all over the Internet who put my face on Travis Kelsey's body <laughs> and Tom's face on Andy Reid's body. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like I'm yelling at Tom on side. That does happen quite often, actually, although it's more Tom yelling at me. But that's that's beside the point, really. <laughs> I'm he, not really yelling. Uh, Travis. I think I, I, think I, I, I yeah. there he is. What I'm doing. There I am. Look at that. That is funny. Yeah. How's that? Very funny. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I, I look like the oldest player in the history of the world, don't I? <laughs> That's a good picture, actually. <laughs> no. George George you know, you look like Obi Wan look Kenobi. Like George yeah, thank you, Pat. Yeah, he does. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. All right. I look like I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah, you could care. I, well, I think... You kind of do. You must <laughs> You must enjoy it on some level because it happens so often. Uh, maybe you're right. Yeah. I don't That's know right. why, but... Mm. See what I did there? Didn't uh, Jason come out and say, kind of go, hey, yeah, Travis went a little too far? Yeah, they, on their podcast, the Brothers host a podcast. Oh, okay. He said, look, you have to agree that you went a little too far. And he goes, yeah, I probably did. And he, But he also said if Andy Reid ever retires, he's going to retire as well. There's no doubt there's mutual respect he between won't, those yeah, two. Yeah. He will not play for another coach. And Andy Reid said after the game, yeah, I like I like the players like that. I mean, that was obviously he caught me off guard. But right. he's passionate. He wanted to get back in the game. He, he understood what was going on. Also, all the Chiefs players understood what the new overtime rules were. Uh, <laughs> because uh, Andy Reid is uh, a football coach. And uh, Kyle Shanahan is a petulant child, <laughs> so who was uh, uh, eased into the greatest offensive play caller in the history of the world because his father was a, a legacy, and everybody had to say that, yeah, he, he's a fine football coach. I guess he can coach. It's uh, Shanahan's kid. Yeah, bring him in. So now this is what we've arrived at. <laughs> he a was monotonous a, loser. He worked for your Washington club, didn't Shut he? Shut up. And... <laughs> Uh, Ohio State's fired seventh-year basketball coach Chris Holtman right after they extended him. You know, extension? Well, sorry, you're out of here. Uh, psych. <laughs> so, psych. Uh, assistant head coach Jake Diebler is now the... Uh, the elf, the new, they call him. The, uh, the, the, Diebler, the, the Diebler elf. <laughs> the Diebler elf. That's exactly right. Oh, and look at this already, huh? Stupid world record. <laughs> Wombats are short-legged, muscular, uh, four-legged marsupials they native sure to are. Australia. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't know that I, when I first. You saw thought this. a wombat was a bat? Didn't yeah, you? they're not. They're like a. No, they look like little pigs. They look kind of <laughs> like capybaras or whatever. Yeah, little. Yeah, are. yeah. I like them. And now it's the world's oldest wombat. <laughs> oh really? Now, how do they know this? Yeah, world's oldest <laughs> nice. wombat. Uh, his name is Wayne, not Wayne. Uh, W-A-Y-N, but W-A-I-N. Oh, okay. He lives at a zoo in Japan, and he's now at least 34 years, 100 days old. <laughs> According to Guinness, he could potentially already be 35, though, as he's thought to have been born in January of the year that they're saying he turned 34. Wombats typically have a lifespan of 5 to 15 years in the wild. Oh, wow. This son of a bitch is 34 years old. Wow. Well, it's because he's, he's in Japan. In captivity, though, oh. they can live into their 20s. If you were in China, he would have been an entree about <laughs> 25 years ago, I'm guessing. And, Tom, I'm going to let you... I'm going to let you read the very last sentence in this in this story because I know you'll enjoy it. You go right ahead. Oh, I've, I knew this. Yeah, we talked... Uh, one oddity about wombats. Chris, you know what it is? No. Uh, it's fascinating to scientists. Um, their poop is cubed. <laughs> that is odd. <laughs> so the opening would have to be square yeah, shape. Right? 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 So every crap is like a roll of the play doh dice. cutter. <laughs> I was going to say, didn't the Play Doh Fun Factory sh show us oh, how? Oh yeah, the, they yeah. showed us how it it's works. Okay, be. wait a minute. Here, <laughs> a wombat produces eighty to a hundred fecal cubes a night. What? That's better than our ice machine. Is. <laughs> <laughs> it must be pretty small. Yeah. But they're... How weird is that? That is odd. What's going on in the... Uh, Does that happen know. in any other... I mean, it's like a robot would have cubed. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. It does seem like yeah. that. 
Uh, Strange. Make great building blocks if you ever had to build a, oh, a little no. poop igloo. Oh. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, I mean, well, that's kind of an oddity. Oh, it very is. Good, very good. Well, um, congratulations to the Japanese zoo for keeping this little critter alive. That's a Wayne. My gosh. Lil Wayne. Lil <laughs> Wayne. Yes. He's 34 years old. Probably in the wild, he wouldn't live past 15. No, no. He would have been... Oh, yeah. <gasps> python up or something. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Snakes, dingoes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've the, always wondered what koalas, what their natural enemy is, their predator. I don't... It seemed like know. that would be easy hunting if you could climb a tree, right? <laughs> yeah. They don't move very fast, do Aren't they? they nasty? They're just sitting up there probably asleep, right? Yeah. Don't, don't they have, like, uh, levels of chlamydia that are... Yeah. Well, but I don't think a predator would see <laughs> yeah. that. You know, yeah. hey, don't bite the koala. You'll get chlamydia. Can What's you get that, chlamydia child? if you eat the koala? I don't know. I just remember. They have something. I, they have, like, Haitian Navy levels of chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> There's What's Haitian the, Navy? <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke? You're going to eat me like the book says? What is that? <laughs> yeah. That's Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. What else is going on over there? Uh, that's it, man. It's a it's a thin day in sports, a very serious day in sports. So we had okay. uh, we had trouble finding in information. Uh, Other than uh, the spotlight shifts to Indianapolis, Indiana this weekend for the NBA All Star Game, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all sorts of events in and around the city. And look for one of the um, coolest things: the uh, floor. I knew this would catch your attention. Oh, this is! I can't wait to see it. I don't know how people are going to walk on it. I, I wouldn't um, walk on my TV. I'd at, smash it. At one of the, <laughs> at, the at the larger venue, yes. Lucas Oil, which, by the way, this summer is going to host uh, 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 swimming events. I'm not sure how they're going to. And this has also caught your imagination. They're, I mean, can you, they're going to have to build a pool pools in there. Well, you know, well, some, yeah. some houses, when you move into them and there's a big backyard, there's no. There's no pool back there until they come out and, and put a pool in. Right. Which is what's going to happen at Lucas Oil. They're just going to come and put put the pools in. It's going to be an above-ground pool. Yeah. And they're not going to dig a hole in the floor. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't act like you didn't think that's what was going to happen. <laughs> you thought it was going to be uh, a backhoe. Yeah. You have some guy comes to work and he hears these jackhammers. What's yeah. going on outside of there? <laughs> they do, doing that. And you thought when the Colts moved back in in September, you thought, well, there uh, was a huge gaping hole at the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the pool was. Well, oh, but well. for the uh, NBA All-Star, not for the All-Star game itself, that'll be at a different venue, but the some of the preliminary stuff, they're going to be on this giant glass floor that's a huge TV screen, right? Yeah. If it goes well, expect to see it. Elsewhere, for Wouldn't sure. Wouldn't it be a distraction if you were playing basketball? I don't know. I mean, they, they could have, probably have cameras that are there. They could do like a... Ooh, I don't want to see an upskirt. Up upskirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there's and fun if they, on his balls. Oh, <laughs> Vicky, Vicky, wham, wham. Oh, my Lord. Look at the size of those. Uh, oh, well, but speaking of large things in that area, coming up in the news, a story about a guy who, uh, believe it or not, was caught uh, smuggling pythons in his pants. Whoa. Uh, we'll get to that uh, coming up a little bit Most later. Didn't you have, didn't no, you have one of the one of your friends who would, like, or maybe it was you who would would say that, oh, I'm I'm smuggling a giant python in my no, pants. No, I don't. inappropriate. You would um, not ever say that. No. I, I think I've, you like to I'm refer to the fact that you have a giant I'm not wang. A, I'm not a snake person. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, no, Josh, didn't you own a, a Python? Yeah, I did. Yeah, for a couple of years. What kind was it? A ball python. A ball, not a, not a penis python. No, no, the Just penis the, pythons. Are, <laughs> they, <laughs> the ball python. Well, no, those are the most popular pythons. Aren't yeah, they? yeah. Yeah, the ball. Okay. okay. Now, um, we were did talking. Did they get real big? Yeah, they'll get about as big as you let it. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Why do they call them ball pythons, by the way? Oh, yeah. they ball up. Like, oh. Uh, like they get all Oh, yeah, they ball all tight up. And, oh. Yeah. Oh, huh. Do you have to untie them? <laughs> uh, you can't, really, because they're so, I mean, they're just it's just a tube of muscle, so they you have can a, try a, to pry them a apart. A snake but... detangler? <laughs> yeah. We'll spray them with some uh, avocado oil or something. <laughs> uh, we were talking about uh, the uh, great apes. Because yes. we have a cool story coming up about apes in the news. Great ape. And um, <laughs> remember uh, that. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that. But um, there was a famous experiment with a great ape named Washoe, <laughs> in which uh, he, they tried to teach Washoe uh, sign language. Yeah. I think I think Coco might have been 
more recent. Yeah, but Washoe's a better name. What a cool name for a... I think it was a chimp, I forget. Maybe it was an orang, I'm not sure. But the point is, uh, he, he makes a brief appearance, I believe. You mean an orangutan. Of course. He, he, I believe he makes a, a brief appearance in uh, this, uh, this famous piece. Wow, what am I going to do? I've got to get this box to Los Angeles by tomorrow. So, just FedEx it. Are you kidding? It's too big. Well, then, overnight it by train. By train. All the way across the country, overnight. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, pal, he's not crazy. The famous Norfolk and Winston Railroad has just merged with WayPal Delivery Services. Together, our new company will revolutionize the overnight delivery business. <laughs> Ask for us by name. We're... Hold it. You're telling me you can get this 2,000-pound package from New York to L.A. overnight by train? Norfolk and Way, pal. Overnight. Absolutely positive. Absolutely positively we will get you through it. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. We are going to do it. When you go by rail, no package is too large. And we'll get it there overnight. Norfolk and Way, pal. That's the name. We do it by train. Cross country, by rail, overnight. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. Here at the Bronx Zoo, we actually shipped Washoe the gorilla to the San Diego Zoo overnight. We had to pry his eyes open on the West Coast, but he's fine now. Absolutely, positively. Absolutely, positively, we will get through it. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. We are going to by name, overnight by train, Norfolk and Way, pal, Norfolk, Virginia. There you go, uh, Norfolk, uh, of course. So. And uh, by the way, Washoe was a chimp, mm -hmm. by the way, uh, part of a special experiment. Uh, learned approximately 350 uh, 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 signs in American Sign Language. Hmm. How cool is that? Very. I don't know. I don't know how they did it. I mean, they could have tortured him to do it. Oh. No, anyway, so I'm not going to say it's cool. Washington, 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 Washington was a she. Could sweet, have been. She's got a sweet yeah. face. A lot of electric prods, I think. Oh, no, there's no prods. We have ways. Uh, we have uh, ways. But, but thank you very much. What's coming up in the news, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have Pop-Tart news. We have... Um, I plainly remember when Pop-Tarts came out, I lost my mind. Are you mind. excited for the movie? Do what? Are you excited for the movie? Jerry Seinfeld, Jim Gaffigan... There's a Pop Tarts movie? Pop -tart yep. movie. Yeah, about uh, about its uh, inception and uh, distribution initially. Oh, and all that. yeah! Wow. Brown sugar cinnamon. Wow. That's interesting because uh, we have a story about that. Yeah. Okay, uh, coming up. Uh, fascinating. Thank you very much. And we have uh, a story of a lonely donkey. A lonely donkey. Yes. A lonely donkey on lonely Valentine's donkey looking Day. For love. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens though. Um, that's kind of exciting. Right now, it's uh, time to check in with Christy Lee. Did your bed arrive? It did. I slept uh -huh. on it last night for the first time. Uh -huh. Big king size bed. Christy nice. has upgraded to a sleep number smart bed of the size known as king size. Yeah, I love ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Christy, of course, uh, a newlywed. And uh, your husband uh, loves your sleep number bed, but mm -hmm. he likes a firmer mattress. Therefore, what does he do? Uh, he hits the button, and his side's a 100, my side a 35, because I like it soft. So you see what's happening here. The Sleep Number Smart Bed uh, is a part of the perfection the Sleep Number has come up with in the realm of mattress firmness. Everybody's happy because you've got an adjustable firmness level on either side of the bed. Only the Sleep Number Smart Bed lets you do that. I get the details at your Sleep Number store. And by the way, the Sleep Number Smart Bed will help you find what the right number is for you for the uh, best sleep that you can get. And by the way, J.D. Power currently ranks the Sleep Number Bed number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. Get all the details by going to jdpower.com slash awards. And now the award-winning Sleep Number President's Day sale is up and running with the award-winning Sleep Number Smart Bed at a staggering 50% off and... To make it even easier to get one right now, special financing from the Sleep Number folks is available for a limited time. You'll only find them, of course, at the Sleep Number store. And you'll look, find one by going, I guess, to uh, sleepnumber.com slash show. That's sleepnumber.com slash show. I know I love my Sleep Number bed. You'll love your smart bed, too. It's from Sleep Number. Coming up, we also have uh, the uh, world of AI has now entered the boyfriend realm. We'll see what that's all about. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach it. Hi, thanks very much for joining us with us in the studio. Comedian Dean Edwards and Dean is a veteran of Saturday Night Live. You, uh, 
I know that you you mentioned you you didn't mention you did a great Chris Rock dead on Chris Rock. Yeah, I did a little bit of Chris Rock. Do, do you have you worked with Chris? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what, Chris and I be, being uh, both SNL alum, it was it's funny because I used to see Chris in the clubs all the time. Mm-hmm. But but once I once I got cast on SNL, then. He, Chris is very sort of reserved into himself and, and, you know, cool with his friends. And he's very, very polite. But if he doesn't know you, he's looking at you like, I don't know you, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, once I got on the show, every time I saw him, he was he was very, like, very sort of big brother, very, uh, you know, s- strong with his advice. I remember one time uh, I, Tracy Morgan and I are sitting in uh, this comedy club in, in New York, the Comedy Cellar, and we had just had J- Jack Black was a was a guest host mm-hmm. and uh, Chris walks and he's like, you know what? I I never watched that show. The one time I watched him, they still don't use black people. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. actually, Chris, you know, um, I was I was in four sketches this past week. He's like, you weren't in them. You're just in the background. <laughs> Don't ever be happy they throw you a bone. You got talent. <laughs> Only the dude without talent is happy they, they throw him a bone, in, which I appreciate. And then he sat there and for a good 35 minutes lecturing me on Gotta gotta keep writing hard. Just every every week, write two sketches and an update. Two sketch. Meanwhile, Tracy Morgan is in the Chris. You you ain't never gave me that advice. <laughs> <laughs> when I started on the show, you you never gave me advice like that. I'd appreciated some of that advice. Mm-hmm. That's how Tracy <laughs> is, though. That's how he is. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or or any time. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese jalapeno-flavored oven-baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven-baked bundle package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. The steroid era is about to start entering the Hall of Fame. I think so. It might happen. Let me grab that. that okay. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Babe Ruth. Hey. Hey. Oh, the Bambino. Hey, hey, the, Bambino the Sultan of SWAT here in the Hall of Fame, right? Sure is. Yes, yeah, sir, Dad. You know, we don't get the best reception up here in heaven, so let me get this right, Dad. I heard we got a pudgy old bag named Reigns headed to Cooperstown. <laughs> yeah. Three, three uh, well, never mind. I, why bother? <laughs> yes, you're hey, They've lowered their standards. I knew it was bad when Cobb didn't go to bed for the last two days and still washed his sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and, Hi-oh! Uh, Dad, back in my day, if you didn't hit at least 600 home runs and bang twice as many dames, you didn't stand a chance. And how? <laughs> now they got these steroids we hear about. <laughs> Hell, all we had was yellow fever, polio, and warts. And that's just what they put in the hot dogs, Dad. <laughs> hey, listen, the train's leaving. We got giga water in the box of stogies. I'll see you in Cooperstown. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Ask for us by name. We're... Hold it. You're telling me you can get this 2,000-pound package from New York to L.A. overnight by train? Norfolk and Way, pal. Overnight. Absolutely positive. Absolutely positively we will get you through it. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. We are gonna do it. When you go by rail, no package is too large. And we'll get it there overnight. Norfolk and Way, pal. That's the name. We do it by train. Cross country, by rail, overnight. There. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. Here at the Bronx Zoo, we actually shipped Washoe the gorilla to the San Diego Zoo overnight. We had to pry his eyes open on the West Coast, but he's fine now. Absolutely, positively. Absolutely, positively, we will get through it. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. We are going to do it. Ask for us by name. Overnight by train. Norfolk and Way, pal. Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and Tom Radio, 24-7. Also joining us uh, in the studio, comedian John Bazaar. Yeah. Well, I, I find that now that I, I need a woman, I mean, uh, integrity, strength of character, honesty, <laughs> but really the most important thing, got to have a big ass. I need, uh -huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see. But I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer-thin <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the Ally McBeal arms and those heroin-looking legs. Yeah. Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something out of sticks if you're gonna spend any time inside. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, this is Mike for this event. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello. Got a uh, world record bonus update, I guess. Oh, coming really? up in sports, yeah. It's, How about that? That's a creepy one. Uh, is it creepy? Yeah. Oh, I, I can see where you would think it was creepy. Uh, it... I find these Is things... Is it a kissing world record? Disturbing. <laughs> no, it's not a kissing world record. I think I set that last night. Oh. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh hey now. That. Hey now. Oh. Who was that guy who kissed her eyes and her nose? Oh, that was, oh, disgusting. That was disgusting. Part of the Allie Green segment? Green, yeah. Man, oh, man. Yikes. She yeah, couldn't this... even squirm away from him. He I couldn't say. help himself. Oh. This guy essentially was licking her face constantly. Yeah. Sticking eyes, his nose, tongue in belly anywhere button. Anywhere he could. Yeah. Sticking his, yeah, sticking his tongue in her nose. What the... Ugh. Maybe she's dating a golden retriever and we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. My advice was just to tell the guy, go south. But, uh, <laughs> but, I mean, that could go wrong, very wrong as well, I guess, now that I think about it. That's interesting that you would make that uh, suggestion. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't see you as, as someone going downtown in that manner very I, often. I consider myself more or less that. <laughs> The, um, <laughs> I know you're an expert at everything. You would you that. would you like a woman to be tonguing your nose? I don't know. It depends on who the woman is. I don't know. That's true. Okay. Really? Really, Pat, you'd like that a little bit? Depends on the woman, yeah. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Some women can get away with anything. You know? That's right. Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm Hey, you know, hmm. cut it out. Hmm. Josh, what do you think? That's Booker, yeah, that's Booker Town it. there. Booker Booker Town. Town. Look at that. I guess if she loved it or whatever, and I loved her, yeah, yeah go, go yeah, ahead. Have at it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, no me sweat off you. my sack. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, coming up, we have a request. Oh, go ahead. Go. Gurning is what we're talking about. It's the process of pulling a grotesque face. <laughs> A New Orleans man has broken the Guinness World Record for longest duration gurning. The lower lip covering the nostril. Mm. Ooh. I can touch my I can cut touch my nose pretty much with my tongue. Mm. Yeah, you can. But I uh but I can't get my lower lip up there. Boy, that's you're, yeah, that's, <laughs> you have to miss have some teeth missing to be able to do yeah, that. Yeah, I think uh, they do. Uh, yeah, yeah right. most of these, you see them, I think they remove their teeth and then they're able to... Uh, Jovante oh, Carter, it says here, achieved the record title by holding this unusual facial expression for one minute, two seconds. He's 22 years old. There he is. His really? attempt to beat the previous <laughs> record of 53... He look, looks kind of like a Muppet. 
Yeah. yeah. The, way, the way you can do that with a Muppet mouth. Yeah, and the How's hair doesn't breathing? help. Yeah. That's, the, that's, the, uh, that's the problem. Yeah. Guinness uh, noted the ability to completely cover one's nose with their mouth while gurning is rare, and doing it for long periods of time can be difficult since the challenger is unable to breathe during the attempt. Oh, so gurning is just that one particular method of making an ugly face. It's not just an ugly face in general. Wow. Huh. huh. Good way to find out if your breath's bad. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh boy, that stinks. <laughs> What's going on? Dude? I should really get a lower jaw. So yeah. while the guy's doing this, he's, he can't breathe. No. But he doesn't have to do it for that long, huh? Well, he's got the record. Well, of... Uh, of he's, it's, he's truly hideous. Uh, <laughs> I think he's got a funny look. I wonder what he looks like look normally. Well, well, yeah, that would be some. I mean, wouldn't that freak you out? <laughs> yes, that would freak you out. Looks like an ostrich. <laughs> And and it's we, a little avian, yeah. And yeah. he's got he's got a little bit of chin hair. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah, it, it's just very creepy. Very Boy. I, I suggest you <laughs> Google it and say, we'll, we'll post that at various <laughs> social media platforms. <laughs> and then it cut right, right, cut right to, right to, that, cut, that, like, cut oh. to me. It scared me. I went, oh, that's me. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Pat. Uh, Why wouldn't you make that your headshot? If you, <laughs> right? If you're yeah. a comedian? Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? Uh, Pat, I, yes, I know that it was, you had a big Valentine's Day. Yeah, real fun. Did know. it go well? Okay, good. Yeah, good, good. good time. Did you go out to dinner? Or what'd you we do? We did, yeah. Flowers. The uh, I said that, that was my favorite uh, my favorite incident of Valentine's Day is you had Pat not knowing what to do, and you had Tom <laughs> to just peppering him with uh, with suggestions. In the hallway, yeah. Uh, and, and, and each suggestion was worse, worse than the last one. <laughs> it was unbelievable. So I sent the Hail Mary flowers and the Hail Mary chocolates. There you go. Go last, with the last, classics. Last minute chocolates. A oh, card? Is there a card involved? Yeah, on the on the flowers. Yeah, you're a big uh, make your own card, right? I like, I, to, I like to make them or augment them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That happened last night. Apparently, what? he lost the card, so he had to make one. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it was very nice, handwritten. It was very nice. Did I saw a drawing, perhaps. Is my there mom was a the, drawing of a heart on it? Yeah. Is my mom the only one that uh, her big thing was she would underline? Whatever the card said. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh yep. And, and yeah. sometimes a double underline. I do that. Oh, God. Yeah. Is that right? I yes. do that. Oh, oh. You need to, you need to oh. stop Just your that. little personal touches. Quick, fast, so and in would, a it, would that be appropriate? Would it be a, a Valentine's card for Valentine's Day and a birthday card? No, it'd birthday. be a birthday card. Yeah, but it, yeah. She Happy underline. <laughs> underline. Happy I put, underline. I put a date birthday. on it. I put the name. Everybody, you know. Yeah, my mom does that, yeah. too, yeah. I noticed yesterday Sweet. in lieu of cho chocolate. A lot of people get cookies because I, I live near a cookie place and the line was out the door. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah, yeah it's very good. Good move. Those are good. Smart move. Yeah. yeah. Cookies, delicious. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, Pat, I'm glad I went well. Did, did you uh, compose a song for your girl? Uh, serious ones, not funny ones. Oh. Well, we could be the judge well, of that. Yeah, how do you know it's not <laughs> just <laughs> oh, totally quite hilarious? Sure, quite sure it'll be funny to you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, are you going to play We are monsters, us? yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh yeah, we're monsters. Was that one of your gifts to her? You no, I didn't. I'm not that uh, corny. Is this the, was this the original or was this the one you were telling me about that's based on a Jethro Tull song? <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> Little inside that, joke. That, there. that may have been singing something in the green room that was was not fit for <laughs> human <laughs> ears. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to it's it's not just radio. It yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It wasn't yeah. snot running yeah. down his no, nose. No, no. Yeah. Way worse. Yeah. 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 Way worse. I, it was yeah. it. The, the, yeah. the, the I can make a I can make a guess. Yeah. Remember the the sitting on a park. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, I have yes. a good line for that one. Something in a hot. <laughs> <laughs> Tom goes, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> Very rough. Very rough. Uh, well, when we come back, do you have a song for us? Sure. Is it a Valentine's Day related song? We'll give you a song about yesterday. I love that P.F. Chang story about the dumpling. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we, can yeah, dig, yeah. we can dig that up. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you people like uh, steamed dumplings over fried Oh, oh don't get me best. wrong. I love fried dumplings. The hell's wrong. Love. Yeah, but I, I will bounce back and forth. Good Lord. And we have a, a wet paper towel. <laughs> oh, uh, we'll We'll see if anybody won themselves some steamed dumplings yeah. uh, for getting Real dumped. Well. Also coming up in the news, marijuana possession in Idaho and kind of a, uh, I guess, kind of an ironic uh, law has been passed there hmm. uh, or is on the way to getting passed. And um, uh, uh, an unusual story about uh, a battery with a mother and daughter. Uh, a a nine battery. They're source? not sharing a battery. No, no, Abe. Uh, <laughs> or they're, they're hitting each other. They're hitting each other. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> In Florida, so funny enough. Okay, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com.
Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Well, <laughs> looks like uh, we got dumped. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to them? Well, our girls have left us, so I'd like to say just one thing. Oh, yeah. Baby, blow me. Oh, a kiss as you're leaving. Blow me. Oh, a kiss right now. Because if you're going to leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me. Oh, blow me a kiss. Come on and blow, 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 blow me. A kiss like you, mama, mean it. Blow me. A k -k kiss right now. I really can't remember anything as hard as this. So blow me. Blow me a kiss. Wow. Some things in life are hard to swallow. She couldn't take it all, Dean. She couldn't handle everything. Who oh, could? But if she comes back tomorrow. Kiss as you're leaving, baby. Blow me. Oh, a kiss as you go. And always think about me as you're going down your list. And blow me. Blow me a kiss. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. I'll miss her legs so tall. Yeah. I'll miss her legs so tall. I'll miss her neck and her shoulders. Yes, sir. But I'll miss her. You wanna come home, honey? That's okay. Just grab a hold of this, and baby, blow me. Baby, won't you blow me? Blow me a kiss. Oh, hi, Miss Melvin. Oh, Sally. I'll miss your arms and your elbows. Bob and Tom Band and Orchestra. Amazing. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world and I'm a happy guy. And you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. Dear Bob and Tom. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you were talking about toenails last no, week. No, okay. no, no. A friend of mine is a dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She cleans teeth for a living. She had a patient who came in the office in great pain. After examination, the dentist found the sore tooth swollen and infected. The procedure required a small incision to relieve the pressure. <sighs> there was a toenail in there. The dentist immediately requested no. a pair of surgical tweezers oh. and removed a large piece of toenail. Oh. How do they know it wasn't a fingernail? 
because it says this patient said he often chewed his toenails. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Hey. My mother used to chew her toenails. No way. In front of me. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> Clothed or not? I would Clothed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a visual. Well, Bob has lost oh, it over there. Hello, best of right here. <laughs> right here. This is a uh, sick, sick wow. thing. Wow. <laughs> that would be, you know. Totally I even, naked. I think How did you, you even get, think of that? You would get, See anything you like, boy? I, I think you get that. free psychiatry <laughs> for life. I think you would. I think you'd get a psychiatrist. Oh I'm sorry. Your, your mother bit her toenails <laughs> naked in front of you as a child. Here. You have free psychiatry for life. Free Prozac. Whatever There's you want. There's a government want. program for that. We are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> See anything you like? <laughs> I mean, Lord, you, help you, us, you, help us, Lord. You can imagine the twisting oh that would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. She was Show's very limber. <laughs> Show's over. Show's over. No, Everybody out. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just ruined it. <laughs> Right now, Killer Bees joins us in the studio. Uh, Bees, how you doing? Real good, man. I right, get up a shopping you. list over here. My wife's eating in bed now. She's at that part of the pregnancy where they crave all this food. Mm -hmm. Some people have mirrors over the bed. We got a sneeze guard. <laughs> 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 Sleeping on those posturpedic sealer meal, man. <laughs> hey, you ain't live till you're making love, and your wife says, "Go slow. I'm spilling my chili." <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that I really love doing this program? Oh, thank you. You know, as a comedian, this is like such a fun, it's actually entertaining and fun to do it, you know, and as a comedian, you, you do a lot of shows, and, uh, you know, like, I was, I did a radio program a few weeks ago, and they introduced me as the bad boy of comedy. Mm -hmm. I never said I was the bad boy of anything, nor do I want to be introduced as such. Mm -hmm. they get Only in comedy do you ever hear that. You never hear that in other professions, you never hear, he's the bad boy of gynecology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, the, see, the, see the guy putting on his yeah. gloves with had his fingers his, cut off? Had his finger in a dike. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, this is Kostash. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin over there in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi, Chick. He's the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. That joke of the day on the way. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. Hello, Tom. Uh, Pat, a lot of people concerned about you and your love life. Yeah? Concerned? Because uh, they knew yesterday you, were, you, you thought you really weren't ready. Pulled it off. And uh, you pulled it off. You got it done. Yeah, we had a fun night. Got a nice letter from Brian who wanted to make sure you got it done. He, <laughs> oh, wanted, he, he, he does want to know if... Um, uh, Johnny Loudwin made an appearance. <laughs> your alter, your alter ego. She this, likes that song. Sings the serious songs. <laughs> she hates a, a brand new one I have though. Oh, Which, she does. Which yeah. one? Chlamydia song. She oh. hates that one. Yeah. So, so you're gonna play it? Uh, I'm gonna play the bitter breakup song we were talking about. B.F. Chang's. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go, did you have the story? Yes, they offered some broken-hearted fan um, free dumplings, six free dumplings who have recently undergone a breakup, you had to text a number, 855-697-6181, and uh, with the message, change, or Chang's dumplings, and then give your breakup story. The oh, you have to give the story. Wait a yeah. all, all that for six dumplings? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'd rather just fork over the nine bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of relive that. Yeah. They could get their dumplings, either shrimp or pork, in a restaurant, or they could get them via delivery. Hmm. So... Um, I love they them. wanted to spread the love this season. What does PF stand for? Do we know? I forget. Somebody uh, who used to work for the Cheesecake Factory, and they're both owned by the Percy Farnsworth. It was yeah. Something. They told me, and I forget. Mm. But yeah. Percy Farnsworth Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed marriage, That's right? Yeah. <laughs> Happens. So I don't know okay. how many people took advantage of the dumplings, but. Um, uh, and Pat, you uh, you want to hear my breakup story? Sure. I do. Here Please. we go. Well, the ex got the house and my 401k. What the fuck? Fu 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 fu. <laughs> she took all the furniture and half my pay. What the fu 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 fu. She took me to court, cut me down to size. What the fu 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 fu. And now I only see the kids' court supervised. What the fu 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 fu. I can't fight her like this anymore. That woman knows how to settle the score. 
yeah, she does. She slept with my boss and half my friends. What the fuck? Fu- 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 I said I was a three, they were nine and tens. Shut the fuck fu- 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 She took all the appliances and left the cat. What the fuck fu- 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 Now I'm chasing Putty at the laundromat. What the fuck fu- 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 Now I'm broker than ever before. I should have never called her a whore. What the fu 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 That's my story. Oh, oh, heartbreak. I'm sorry. I'll give you some dumplings. Long time ago, though. Everything's good now. <laughs> oh, that's a great yeah. song. Yeah, that's, and that's, uh, that's based on a great song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... Oh. It was a great kin? Great, yeah, yeah great kin, kin band. Yeah. The Kin-spiracy. breakup song. Conspiracy. Yeah, he's a huge hit. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. he did all those that with his albums, right? Conspiracy yeah. and Connected or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, I got the P.F. Chang <laughs> mystery solved. Yeah? We weren't too far off. Uh, it was It's two guys. And... Um, what well, you know, whatever. Love is love, Tom. Sure. No, 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 um, <laughs> oh. Partners, uh, business it, partner. Yeah, you okay. want to touch egg rolls? <laughs> <laughs> well, you still might not like that. <laughs> uh, Philip Chang and uh, Paul Fleming. Ah, uh, uh, yes, Fleming. Yes. Uh, so there huh. you go. Uh, so the PF. I like what they do. Cheesecake, PF oh, Changs. Yeah. Good stuff. Good work. Yep. Good work, fellas. Delicious. Okay. Well, well done, guys. Wraps, <laughs> excellent, out. excellent wonton soup. Uh, mm. Now we turn to. Uh, can you eat that anymore? No. You can't have wonton soup? No, it's pork. No, there's meat. There's pork in the oh, wonton and dumplings. shrimp in there. Once again, Pat, vegan. How's that vegan thing going? Going pretty good. Yeah, real good. What'd you have for dinner last night? Uh, she had a cheese pizza. Oh, how about that? What'd and you w- have? I stared at it. I had uh, pizza stare at it. You had uh, <laughs> cheese pizza fumes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the basil. Mm. So the nice Valentine's Day dinner at the pizzeria. Well, I hope you ate something. Well, I have my one meal a day that I have in the late afternoon, so... So you just sat there drinking water? While you watched her yeah, we eat? Had fun. Yeah. All right, okay. It's okay. There's you no- know what? I'm glad that you, you're, you she's know, able to... I, I think we need to review. <laughs> He's saying it. Uh, he is the one saying, oh, it went great. It was fine. Uh-huh. I believe him. Okay. Because right. he's, he feels so good. He's looking great. He uh, he, he's enjoying this, it. Yeah. I don't think... I've tried to get him to break. <laughs> what, the food thing? What was it recently where I went, you really should just Honestly, go ahead? Yeah. I told Josh, I said, I'm going to tell him myself. I said, last night, I was so hungry, I put hot dogs in a pan and bo- started to boil them up, and then I went, what am I doing? And I I, I, put, I threw it out. I was about to eat a hot dog. Two of them, actually. <laughs> yeah. You got, almost, you got real close. I almost cracked, yeah. You know, you can put those in the microwave, and they're done quickly. Well, he would have eaten them, then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Are people still boiling hot dogs? He is, yeah. apparently. Yeah. I, I, Jimmy likes it. I, I do, My son too. likes it. Mm. Like do you really? really? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Four minutes don't in the air fryer. You don't hot air fryer? You, you, you don't put them in the microwave? No, I, I boil sausages too, link sausages. What are you? Oh, Brit- you do? Yeah. Really? What are you like breakfast sausages? Yeah. British? What? You don't fry oh. them in a skillet? Yeah. That's interesting. Boil, boil them up. So what yeah. you say? That's really boil interesting. Them. Now, have you noticed when during the when you're doing this for the kids, <laughs> they start crying right away, or have you noticed that? Again. Or, no, Daddy. <laughs> huh? You boil sausages. Yeah. You know, if I was making sausage <laughs> for breakfast. And I had a plate of a couple of eggs, some sausage, yeah. and I dropped it in water. I throw the sausage out. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tom's goal: is to have it in sausage. Oh wow! Really? All right. I've never heard of such boiling thing. the sausage. Where did you get that idea? From boiling hot dogs. Did mommy? <laughs> did mommy do it that way? Yeah, you boil a hot dog. Your mom well, sure, boils sure. sausages like that. That's where did you get hot dog water? Your mom did not boil sausages. Well, it's the same. I mean, I same I just get some of the grease out and uh, that's some interesting. Of the fat. Hmm. And then you drink that water, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a rocky thing. It, a key <laughs> to that is let it cool. <laughs> yeah, you can't drink it right out of the pan. You're that is uh, that's a rookie mistake. <laughs> no, I know. That's impressive. I've I've, I've always thought this, and I I, I don't even want to think about it too long. But he's much worse than we all think. I think you're right. Yeah, he there, there's stuff going on that he hasn't even. <laughs> there are some about. sausages that you could boil easily. No, that's not true. No, you're wrong. Certain like a kielbasa. Or yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you bo- if you boil them in beer and then right, grill them. Right, sure. Yeah, I yeah. get that. You may, you may throw them in the grill a little bit. Too. Are you a link or a patty guy? Both. I I, I don't choose. It's whatever the gro- I have a particular brand and whatever the grocery store has. What about I get. what 
What about a patty, Tom? You boil a you patty? Boil a patty? No, no, no. You fry that baby up. Well, would that, be oh, that might be good as a suggestion. In, floppy the, in, the, in the air fryer. <laughs> what about a hamburger? You boil a hamburger? <laughs> no, I do it. What the boil. hell's wrong with you? Now, I've never been so upset and disappointed in my life. He boils bacon, I bet. Yeah, what do you do with bacon? You're boiling bacon. Your bacon goggles on. I know you boil eggs. You this like a like poached a egg. octopus in there? I do like a poached egg. I, um... <laughs> oh, poached egg. Man. I, uh, well, actually, it's kind of a combination poached fried egg. Oh, okay. You start to fry it, then you add about you add about half an inch of water, cover it, and it essentially poaches. It's a lot easier, a lot less. Oh, easy. you get that nice white. You don't uh, flip it over. No, 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 no. Huh? You fry it first. Flipping's a good way you to put break an egg. That you thing. put an egg in a pan with a little grease, and yeah. then you start it, get it so it gets a nice firm base, and then you uh, add some water. Uh, Lynn Rosetta, then, Lynn Rosetta Casper yes, talked about it. Yes, and then you lit it. Then you yeah put a lid yeah, on it it's with, great. with water. It's, it's, it's like is, a poached egg. That's a really good method. It cooks the top. It's delicious. Get that yolk gravy. What are you and I gonna? Go. We need to go. Does Lynn Rosetta Gasper? Can we go like see a reading of hers or something? Oh, that'd be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? I'd rather go have her cook cook dinner. Frankly, oh, ever, gotta, we'll make that happen. You ever put an egg in the microwave? That's fun. <laughs> no. What happens when you do that? They get in trouble. That's what happens. Oh, okay. They explode. Oh, they explode yeah. Well, speaking oh. of breakfast. Yeah. Uh, we have a. Uh, well, I, I, I. It's kind of a sad, sad story. Yeah, we do have a sad pop tart story coming up. Oh no. Yeah. But you see, there's a Pop Tart movie on the way. Yes, yeah. Seinfeld's always been obsessed with Pop Tarts and and such a huge fan of them. And he's kind of explored the history and he's made a movie with Jim Gaffigan and Melissa McCarthy and some other great uh, performers. And it's about the history of Pop Tarts. Wow. It's called the un it's called Unfrosted, the Pop Tart story. I'll be darned. Well, one of the key players in the Pop Tart story uh, is has passed. Oh, okay. Well, we'll we'll get to that coming up. Well, speaking of food. Uh, what better time to talk a little bit about uh, getting 2024 uh, rolling with great food, getting a little tired of your uh, food routine, kind of a Groundhog Day thing. It's the same old, same old. HelloFresh is a great way to sort of uh, kick yourself in the buns, if you will. What it's all about is HelloFresh does the grocery shopping. They do the measuring. They send you the kit, and you put it together. Sometimes uh, in just a few minutes, and you pop it in the oven. Depends what you get. But, of course, you decide what you get. More than 40 chef-curated recipes every week. Some of them very exotic. Some of them classic, simple, but all delicious. And uh, you're going to save money, too. This is about 25% cheaper than carry-out. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you can get at HelloFresh. Christy, you've been working on anything special? Yeah, this is really great. It's a one-pan dish. It's called Spanish one-man chicken with chorizo and bell peppers kind of a paella type of dish it looks amazing it takes only 35 minutes and like i said they send you all the ingredients the chicken breasts everything you put it all in one pan and you have this delicious meal the spanish one pan chicken with chorizo and bell peppers it's one of their world famous recipes and they got everything to choose from from uh, vegan to uh like i said comfort food they've got locale they've got low carb you, you'll find what you're looking for and uh, shake up your life a little bit and have some fun Shake up your uh, dietary uh, regimen. Now, uh, there's also a thing going on where you get free breakfast for life with your subscription while you keep it active. What To get that, you just go to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. One free breakfast item with an active subscription. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Have your food life improved. Your food lifestyle, if you will, with HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Coming up, uh, a Pop-Tart obituary uh, and also um, uh, humor, depression, anxiety. All in the same story. And uh, the sense of humor that apes have. It's been uh, studied and uh, it, it exists. We'll find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom. Third and goal, hit Golden Showers. Tate on a slant that was initially ruled a touchdown with eight seconds left. After review, the play was overturned. As you can see, he's short of the goal line. Uh, no, he's not. And yes, he is. He's way short of the goal line. He's like half, he's like an entire ball short of the goal line. The football, Tom. Uh, so that's with eight seconds left. They had to stop play, look at the re review. That, but then, due to a rule that causes a 10-second runoff when a clock is stopped by officials and then restarted, the game ended. What? With what? eight seconds left. What's they the point so of that rule? Another play? In theory, the Lions could have lined up with a fourth down play as time expired, but the initial call of a touchdown is actually what disallowed 
that possibility. Yeah, why? The rule exists because the rules committee, led by Don Shula, <laughs> the only curves on he wheels in, sons of bitches. I hate all you young mother... It's like every other comedian ever, I, too, have recently broken up with uh, my girlfriend. So you had to let her go from the van. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I unchained her from the radiator. Well, I guess that's over. <laughs> I well. broke up, my last girlfriend, I broke up via voicemail. Is oh, that really? tacky? That is yes. kind of tacky. Uh, well, hear me out. All right. I didn't leave a message on her voicemail. Oh. I left it on the outgoing message on my voicemail. <laughs> oh, all right. Hi, this is Brendan. I yeah, 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 exactly. Leave a message it's unless you're... Less confrontational. You're, uh, unless yeah, you're if this is Susan, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hit the bricks, hug a mug. <laughs> That's but, how I do. But anybody else just leave your message? Yeah, anybody else leave a message. Don't forget your number. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start with your message? Your message is important to me. <laughs> unless it's Susan. Did you say hit the bricks, hug a mug? <laughs> yeah, I called her hug a mug. She's ugly. <laughs> I was dating an ugly girl. Oh, <laughs> well, somebody yeah. has to. She was really, she was hard on the eyes. <laughs> wow. Uggamug. Uggamug. Yeah. I think well, I'm going to start calling you that. That'll be like my little pet name for you, Christy. Uggamug. Oh, well, that's not ugly. No, I'm certainly not. Hey, I just on. think it's cute. Uh, no, no, well, you could, you could be mean to ugly girls because they don't have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on the Discovery <laughs> Channel. That's what you were told, right? Well, there you go. I uh, discovered that. Uh, on hey, the by the way. I have something for the quotes page. I have Usually done. Usually, usually. You don't make the quotes page in the first 10 minutes, but you just did. Um, th she bought rocks one time from Pier 1 Imports. She bought a oh, basket yeah. of rocks. No kidding. To sure. decorate her coffee table with. Well, they had, like, words chiseled into them. Oh, like, okay. That's weird. They said, like, joy and happiness mm -hmm. and friendship. Mm -hmm. So, like, one night I just took a handful of those rocks and I drove around my neighborhood chucking them through people's windows. Huh. Joy. Like, here comes happiness. <laughs> we were driving to the mall one time so she could buy some dumb stuff, and there was a car in front of us, and it had a bumper sticker that said, my boss is a Jewish carpenter on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was all like, my boss is a Jewish carpenter. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, think about it. Mm -hmm. Who's the most famous Jewish carpenter you can think of? Right. And I swear to God, she, she went... I don't know. Geppetto? <laughs> <laughs> that totally happened <laughs> for real in real life. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Have you interviewed Christopher Walken? No. Oh, no. Okay, well, here's your chance. And keep in mind, all of his thoughts are completely unconnected. <laughs> so go ahead and ask Christopher Walken anything. All right, what's, the, what's your new project, Christopher? Frankenstein never scared me. <laughs> How long have you been working on the on the film? Marsupials do. <laughs> and uh, when's its release date? Cause they're fast. <laughs> they are fast. Oh, they are. You don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah, can't go anymore. Holy That's cow. a good day's work. Everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. I got a plan for the country. Oh, uh, yeah? yeah, yeah. I thought that you know there are people that that can do drugs, and there are people that can't, and the people that can are, are, are screwing it up for the rest of us. So, uh, <laughs> so I've come up with a solution. Instead of testing people for drugs where they work, why don't they do something more democratic? Why don't they just test everyone for drugs that they can handle? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe when you get your driver's license, you know, you, you go up to the guy, the guy says, well, we got your paperwork done, but before we do the photo, do you do any drugs? Well, yeah, smoke a little pot occasionally. All right, well, 
why don't you go smoke this and sit down over there? <laughs> <laughs> in about 10 minutes, we're going to take the car out for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you pull it off, you get pot approved. You see right on your license. <laughs> Next time you, you get pulled over, I don't think so, officer. You see, that's a I pot approval pot stamp right there. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you're, if you're into heroin, there's no picture because you're nodding down. <laughs> Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here, Christy at the news desk, mm-hmm. and Pat Godwin, and Ace Cosby, Josh Arnold's around here somewhere. I'm Chick, and here's here's um, Tom Griswold. We have one of those uh, Keurig machines that yeah. have a little little uh, what do you call them? Cups? Those things you stick in the gizmo? Mm-hmm. And, uh-huh. K-cups, I believe. K- yeah, uh, and uh, Josh is searching desperately for his brand of coffee. Mm. Um, yeah, sure they've redone the thing, so there, we, yeah. Yeah, we it's harder to find, I think. So I walk in there, and he's, he's sorting them out. He's still doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six minutes and 30 seconds later. His morning call. Uh, he is particular, isn't he? I oh. thought he just grabbed one. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, well, let's hope he found it. Um, now, I thought we would do a little bit of uh, palate cleansing. Yeah? Uh, before we get this. Maybe, should we do the sad news first and then do I the palate cleanser? I for Josh to get back. Um, okay, no? well. Uh, all right. All right. Did he, did he, did he, what, did he fall in the toilet? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, after you have that coffee. Mr. Okay. William Post, the man who invented Pop-Tarts, has passed away at the age of 96. He died this past Saturday. His family wrote in his obituary that he was a plant manager with a company later known as the Keebler Company when Kellogg executives asked him, quote, if he thought it would be possible for Keebler to create a new product they had in mind. His obituary states... To be accurate, Bill would say, I assembled an amazing team that developed Kellogg's concept of a shelf-stable toaster pastry into a fine product that could become, or that we could bring to market in a span of just four months. Shelf-stable is the key there. Yeah. Yeah. He is survived by a son and daughter as well as several grandchildren and great-grandchildren. In 1964, the pop tart was brought into our homes, Chick. Yes, sir. I remember it plainly. I'm I'm glad he lived long enough to see the... uh... The Pop Tart Bowl. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was just that was this year. Did you see that uh when they made the Pop Tart Bowl at the end of it, you know, because of the Duke's mayonnaise bowl and I didn't know Christy probably wasn't watching this. No, I wasn't. But the coach gets uh, mayonnaise dumped on him <laughs> at the end of the house. <laughs> right. Well, at the Pop Tarts Bowl, you get to eat the Pop Tart. You get to eat what looks like you're eating the mascot. Because the mascot is this giant pop tart, oh! And he jumps into a what looks like toaster at the end of the game, <laughs> and he comes out on a conveyor belt, and it's actually a giant pastry. Nice. But it's not the guy in the suit anymore. It's just a pastry. But you're led to believe it is the guy in the suit. A, 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 a good gag. Yeah. And then the, all the players and the coaches start picking the mascot <laughs> apart and start eating his body Whoa. to celebrate the win in the pop tart pool. Yeah, you yeah. missed the, the guy that invented the pop tart diet. Yeah, yeah. And Josh brought it up. I did not know that there's going to be unfrosted the pop tart story coming to Netflix May third with an all star cast. Yeah, and directed by Jerry Seinfeld. Hmm. Yeah, and Jim Gaffigan's in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gaffigan, uh, all kinds. Fred of Armisen, Bill Melissa Burr, McCarthy, yeah. yeah, Amy Schumer, Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, it's. Oh. Impactful. Well, Thomas well, Lennon, one Thomas of my Le- Dan favorite. Levy. Oh, I, yeah. I love Thomas. Hugh Grant. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Christian Slater. William Post, the uh, Pop-Tart inventor, once again, has died at the age of 96. Mm. I understand uh, he will be cremated in a gigantic toaster. Go. Oh, all right. <laughs> that's how I won't put a, put a water. How many times do you have to hit the button? <laughs> <laughs> and you still put uh, you still put butter on your Pop-Tart, right? I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, 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 do you do phenomenal. that? Phenomenal. I do not. I don't no. either. I don't toast my Pop-Tarts. I just eat them right out of the package. Huh? They're Frosted certainly... or unfrosted? Both. Either way. Mm. Mm. What's your favorite flavor? Frosted, brown sugar, cinnamon. Mm. That is oh, most, interesting. That's the best one. Traditional. Oh, strawberry. That's you're a strawberry favorite. guy? Yeah. <laughs> And Pat, you no longer can eat pop tarts. No, your diet. no, no, no. Too much sugar. Like a vegan pop tart. I might be vegan. Come to think of it, I too much sugar. I too there's much flour. Too much taste. Too much <laughs> deliciousness. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, Christy Lee is at the news desk. I, I promised a palate cleanser. Yes. After that sad story about the pop tart demise. Now the pop tarts are going to remain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not taking those off. There's a sure. legacy. Yeah. I don't mean to say that, but uh, uh, but sad about the guy inventing them. Uh, congratulations. Uh, but right now. With a deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his 
joke of the day. You guys don't know this, but when I was young, I had a uh, pet pig, a little pet pig. Oh. He loved Shakespeare. He did. You know what his favorite play was? Mm. I do. Hamlet. Sponsored by Sleep Number. Yeah. Save fifty percent during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com. Suppose McDonald's ever thought of doing the Big Macbeth. <laughs> I doubt they have. Got a guy standing there with a... The Big Macbeth? The Is this big, secret sauce big, on my hands? <laughs> 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 out, damn secret sauce. Yeah, out, sweet and sour sauce. I think we got, I think we got an idea here. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a great commercial holding a Big Mac. Man, I got to get there. The sign uh, by uh, the McDonald's just right up the road. Guess what they have. The double Big Mac is what was on the sign. And I think the Shamrock Shake is back. Oh, sure. Yeah, I guess it... Is the it's season, the it? season. All right. Are you a fan of those? Are you, a fan of those? Uh, yes, oh, you're not a mint guy, are you? Uh, no, but I have I live with mint people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Every what time is, we go to the ice cream. Well, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> the, minties the mint moved people. in. <laughs> I live with mint people? Yes, whenever we go get ice cream. Who likes the mint? mint chocolate you're, you're, chip? Everybody but me. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm right there. I don't. Mint is, I don't know why it's a flavor. Oh, I love mint. I love it. Well, oh, that's a, right. You and I have talked about like. Um, I, I don't care. Uh, no. It's like toothpaste to me. I Get love, I love yes. like the York peppermint patties. No. And, uh, yeah. Ooh. No. Yep. Love. No. Junior mints. I can't. Mm, I, 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 yeah. I can eat by the tub. Man. Okay. How many junior mints do you think you could eat? 50? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 50. My man here can eat 50 <laughs> junior men. Mm -hmm. All right. Do I do that in the air one day? I don't. Because, <laughs> uh, why is that, Tom? Uh, why, why is that, Josh? Uh... Uh, well, <laughs> exploded for you don't want to have to team up with somebody else losing uh, who lost their other foot so you can oh, buy a pair of shoes yeah. together, right? And now, ladies and gentlemen, he's gotten thin on me, but what is the fattest thing you've ever done? They're thin mints. But they do have thin mints. <laughs> Boy. That's a clever sales pitch. It, it sure is, yeah. 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 They don't want to call me fatty, fatty two by four. <laughs> the, the new two inch by four inch candy bar. Uh, sorry. I wonder how many junior mints are in a traditional box, like in a movie theater. I don't know. Fifty-two. Oh, then I've done it already. Yeah, <laughs> then, then, yeah. Well, yeah. We haven't been able to play the "I'm So Fat" song since you started losing all this weight. Josh. I haven't lost much weight. No, what? Yeah, you have. What's yeah, with you have, What's dude. with the um, uh, some of the convenience stores? You can't get like a regular size Snicker bar. They're all like super super size, king size. They're all like double candy bars. Yeah. And they're becoming more and more prevalent in my book, I think. I don't Everybody know what probably sell better. More. I get must. Maybe. I don't or know. Or a bigger profit margin. One of the two. Yeah, easier to shoplift. I know that. Even uh, though easier. I'm a big dude, I, there are things I can't do anymore that I, I cannot eat a whole pizza. I, I just can't. I can't get past like the third slice. I'm the same way. And I then I don't eat like I used to. Yeah, but I'm still big. And then and then I can't eat a full candy bar. Like the thought of eating like a whole Hershey Welcome bar to, to me. Welcome to my side of the fence. It just seems insane. Well, but you're you're sick. If, you, if it takes a week to eat a Kit Kat bar, come on. Yeah, What's your philosophy on the Kit Kat bar, Christian? One strip at a time. But, One day well, at a time. The, oh, so you, you cut. So four days. Cut four off days. The, the bar and then eat just and then it comes back. Hey, just eat later. one strip. That, the first strip tastes the same as the fourth strip. Why not just eat one? Then you have three. I see. Keep. I see. Well, uh, time to move forward here. What's happening in the world of news? Um, a woman in India who was believed to be dead awoke in a hearse on her way to a crematorium. I just got better. <laughs> According to the Times of India, the 52-year-old woman named Bougie, <laughs> oh, Bougie Amma, has suffered serious burn injuries earlier this month. She and has all the fake designer purses. All <laughs> yes. Of yeah, appeared to have passed away. Her husband called for a hearse, which transported her to a local crematorium. Boy, they wasted no time, didn't they? The local resident who accompanied Amana Amaa in the hearse said they had almost finished assembling the funeral pyre when the woman opened her eyes and responded to our calls. Whoa. Yeah. They had the pyre already. Yeah. Probably going to lose their deposit. Oh, yeah, that is a shame. Those are pretty cool. Pyres? Funeral pyres? Well, is are it cool? there? There's a place now. Was it Maine? Maine? I think. Is you they're can legal do that? again? Yeah. Uh -huh. Need a lot of wood, a lot of air. Got to build yeah. them just right. Really, really hot fire. Yeah. And the way to do it is you put them on a barge. You don't want to live down I wind. The old you, Viking? You, yeah, that's the way. You float them out there. Ugh. And if it doesn't really do the full job. 
<laughs> sort of a semi corpse washes up on shore. Yeah. Yeah. You will. You will. But hopefully, do it in Shark and Festival. Does it cremating a burn victim? I don't know. It's a little insensitive, isn't it? Well, and, they wouldn't. And, and why didn't her husband have a qualified physician declare? Um, that? maybe. Sounds like he was in a little bit of a hurry. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, no, she's dead. Yeah, just take her to the fire. We're, we're good. Oh. Uh, yikes. Okay, well. Authorities in England say a drunk motorist called police to report he was too drunk to drive. North Yorkshire police said an emergency dispatcher received the call from a motorist who said he was driving drunk and did not know what he was doing. The man added he'd had a rough weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I don't think this guy should get in trouble. Responding officers found the 52-year-old in a van on the side of the road. A breath test revealed he was three times over the legal limit, and he was arrested and charged with drunken driving. Oh, I think that's a shame in a way. The guy did, he yeah, ended up doing the, the right thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that'll, maybe they just will let him Hopefully go. Hopefully they'll lenient yeah. on him, but uh, he made a mistake, obviously, but yeah, he fessed up. Yeah. I, he did the right thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, isn't there some rule about that if... The, in in most states, if the keys are in the if you if you're I don't intoxicated, yeah. you pull over. If the keys are in the car or something, you can still be arrested. It's, I don't know. I'm yeah, not don't, sure about now, that. Now, uh, Pat, uh, when you were uh, you oh, got the as a passenger, I was arrested. You were yes. a passenger. Go on. Oh mm -hmm. Lord. And uh, this was where was this? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Mecklenburg County Jail. Uh -huh. Fourteen and, hours. And you were in the jail, and you uh, but you weren't even driving. No, I was a passenger. Were you intoxicated? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And uh, I can your, tell you that now. Your offense was <laughs> what? Uh, I was charged with public intoxication, yes, and uh, interfering with an investigation. <laughs> he was running his That was the big one. What he was doing. Yeah. yeah. So, That's so exactly what exactly did you say to the I police was just trying to help my buddy. He had just had a couple beers, and he says he wasn't going to blow. I said, you should blow. And uh, he didn't blow when he got out there, so it was going to be a lot of trouble for him. I got out of the car to say, you know, just let him blow. And then they told me to get back in the car, and they had their guns out. Oh, boy. And I said, what are you Guns drawn. What are you Everybody. going to shoot me, Barney? Oh. And, uh, <laughs> He should have shot you right in the foot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Blam. That was my first experience in handcuffs. That's a, that's a trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they like to put those on a little tighter than they yes, need they to. they do, yeah. <laughs> From my recollection. They are uncomfortable. <laughs> Boy, they are. Yeah. Did they take a breath test? A bre what's it called? A breathalyzer? Uh, for me, no. It was just pretty obvious what was just going on. Just based on the... Yeah, uh, yeah. I had so a, did you have to appear in front of a judge? I did, yeah. General About demeanor. Six months how, later. How, how'd that go? That went well. Did a drive back down there? To I went back. To, she flew back to Charlotte. I was working in Peoria, and uh, it was a, a female judge, and her son had been an MC at the local comedy club. Oh, that, that helped. I, as a headliner, <laughs> treated him the best. Well, and, uh, oh, no oh, kidding. Yeah, that's actually true, yeah. One hand scratching there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, life, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Well, it just shows, goes to show you, you, be nice. You never know who you're being nice to. No, he should Except still maybe, be in jail. Maybe, Godwin should still maybe, be in jail. Maybe be nice to the police officer. Yeah, rather than, yeah that was stupid. You use the word Barney. That is yeah, a, yeah, that's oh really boy. something. What, are you going to shoot me, Barney? Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been handcuffed. Pat's been handcuffed. Chick's been handcuffed. Who yeah. else? Anybody else? Cuffs that we've been cuffed in here. No, if, I mean for reals. No, no, yeah, no, I've been, not I've for been, real. I've been cuffed for real. For fun? And I, I don't find the the. Uh, it was no picnic in the no, bedroom. In the bedroom, no in the bedroom, that's not in my uh, menu. No, you don't you. like being handcuffed. No, I don't Ooh. like anything. You want to be handcuffed to the bed? No, no tying, no none of that. Oh, okay. You want to be free to be? Yeah. But but you boil breakfast sausages. I can't understand it. Well, you boil it because it, 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 it leaches some of the fat out, and then you. Maybe put them in the fryer for just a second to give them a little browning. Yeah, you don't like to be tied up because you don't like to not be in control. That's the problem. Well, it's okay. Now, would you would you tie somebody else up if they requested it? Have you ever done that? No. Can you oh. see him? Can you see him trying to figure out a pair of handcuffs? He'd cuff oh, himself. I, okay. <laughs> He's not going to ruin my nice tie. This is a Jerry Garcia. This, this, this thing's collectible. I'm going to tie it to the bed. He knows knots because he seals. So. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I could even do. Yeah, I certainly could. Would you like me to tie you up with a bowline? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Is that better than a square knot? Yeah, that's my favorite. Though. Oh, okay. That's the one with the rabbit <laughs> going through the hole. Never mind. You You'll never tell us. Okay. The kinkiest thing you've ever done. Hmm. <laughs> You're not going to tell us. No, no. no. I, I once kissed the back of her head. The woman's back of her neck. <laughs> You're close. I once had all of my clothes on. <laughs> once, once. Naked. Once. Yeah, that was the In one Lake time. Michigan. <laughs> I once accidentally touched my girlfriend's foot. <laughs> 
and I was aroused. <laughs> I, I said, no, I said, do you want to touch a foot? <laughs> <laughs> you see that one? There you go. A Very YouTuber good. is wanted on multiple charges. Uh, but to get back to this, I, I, oh. I'm, I agree with Josh. This guy who called the police and said, I'm too drunk to drive and pulled over should, if nothing else, get a warning. He didn't. He did the right thing. Yeah, bravo to you, sir. Yeah. I mean, I, you, you made a mistake for sure, but... Uh, Maybe he had a rough weekend. Give him an ankle monitor. Don't, you, don't even give him an ankle monitor. Just say, look, sir, if you want to leave the house, just call me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just let me know. Yeah, like you did no, with the drunk thing. A courteous thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A YouTuber is wanted on multiple charges after posting a video of himself topping speeds of 150 miles per hour <laughs> on an interstate in Colorado. According to the Colorado State Patrol, Rendon Deitzman recorded himself squeezing through small gaps in traffic and traveling on the shoulder of I-25. The 20 or the 32-year-old from Texas was speeding so fast that the hour-long trip from Colorado Springs to the Denver metro area took him only... 20 minutes. Guys on a motorcycle. Nice. He's wanted. Now, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Christy, can he be arrested for something he did but didn't get caught doing? He is wanted on charges, Josh, including reckless endangerment, reckless driving, engaging in an exhibition of speed, and driving without license plates attached. I don't know how I feel about this. He is also known as Gizzer Bra on YouTube. All right, arrest him. And has posted multiple <laughs> similar videos from different parts of the country. Hmm. He's weaving in and out of traffic. And yeah, this a, is a menace. Yeah, he sounds like a total danger, but uh, he did it and got away with it. And I don't know that he... I mean, I get if you kill somebody and nobody's there to catch you in the act, you're still able to be arrested. So, but, so this guy can be prosecuted based on his own... Video? Huh. I don't know. I... Hmm. Isn't it? Isn't it that like? Can you plead the Fifth Amendment and say don't play? I mean, isn't it kind of self-incriminate? I don't know. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, yeah well, I don't know. His next video is probably going to be this guy getting here. We go sodomized in prison. <laughs> 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 Looks like his name is G Gixer Bra. Gixer, Gizer, Geezer, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> he's a bomb. He's got. He's got a, a lot of people are following him. Good oh, sure. I bet it's a follow exhilarating to watch. But I'm with the judge on this. This is an easy fix for me. Oh. He's only allowed to drive a scooter <laughs> after this. It's got to be like... And he has to right. YouTube it. Yeah. It's got to be 50 cc's or less. <laughs> <laughs> with a governor on it. Yeah. I'm so naive. I remember one day I was coming in here and it was snowy and cold. And I said to Christy, I just saw some guy on 56th Street driving a moped. <laughs> What the hell is that all about? And you explained? Yeah, uh, drunk driving. He got are. his license taken away. Still oh. got to go to work. Well, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. well. uh, uh, now, uh, what do you got coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have a guy with a python in his pants, and I mean a real python. Hello. We have a donkey who's lonely and may meet a new companion after his died. Oh. We have a hiker that killed a coyote with his bare hands. What? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, one. News, good news, bad news. And there. the bubonic plague has returned Yay! in the United States. Hey, 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 just in time. In case, in case the news wasn't scary and awful enough. <laughs> bubonic plague is the number one plague, right? I That's mean, a huge one, of all yeah. time. Yeah, I think maybe. So. Yeah. The name, anyway. Is that bubonic? the same as? Is that the same as black plague? That's I, Ebola, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They, they've they've got to be plagues. one too. Bubonic and Ebola. <laughs> they sure do. Neck and neck. Wow. Yeah. Just the name plague is so much better. Yeah. Maybe if they'd used that, you know, four years ago, it would have become in, do you think? That's or right, it, I think the plague was, is... Yeah. yeah, that's what it... Bubonic, so... I mean, the, the, the oh, fact... Oh, you that mean it, the COVID plague? Yeah, instead of call, no. calling it COVID-19, they should have... Oh, I see what you're saying. They, they, they should have given it a really scary name. Bubonic or Ebola. Like, you know, right. the Hitler plague? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more scary, that's all I'm saying. Uh, by the way, um, remember the story we had about... Um, this guy, this billionaire that claimed he was, um, what is he, like 45 years or whatever, he says he's getting the erections of an 18 -year -old. Yeah, yeah, biohacker. Because he's stealing his son's blood and putting it into his yeah, own body. Yeah. When we come back, um, a, a guy that actually knows what he's talking about, which is somewhat rare, <laughs> um, uh, it can explain how they determine the duration of an erection. Oh, okay. There's a tactical thing that's been done here. Okay. So when we come back, please remind me. We'll 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 enlighten you on that. Also, uh, coming up, we have um, a, a dead cow on the interstate mm. that has finally been removed. Uh, <laughs> finally. The, the best part of the story, they had tagged it with like a you know 
like they do a car. Right. <laughs> we'll find out what that's all about. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime excuse me are um are you serious with it i mean why are you doing this me uh, the real me is right here i could easily be doing this we we don't need you man i uh, look there's only room for one of us that's gardener's wisconsin cheese jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese it's now available in gardener's oven baked bundle package so try all the great flavors receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend 59 dollars or more at gardener's wisconsin cheese.com click the link below and tell them your pal josh me, the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show, sent you. Hi, Tom here, along with uh, comedian Ryan Singer. And we've been talking about Ryan's car, which has got, uh, I believe, uh, 298,000 miles on yeah. it. And uh, this is a beautiful uh, machine. It's obviously taken him all across the country many times. And Ryan would like to sell it, so I'm going to try to help him do that. I have not tried the car yet, but let's give it a quick yeah, let's, uh, review. Let's, let's check it out. Now, um, oh, the, uh, what year is this? 99. Um, oh, the driver's side handle's broken off, so you either can go in through the back seat or... Oh, wait a minute. I, I think I can get it. You want me to open it? Wait a minute. Yeah. You, you have to open it from the inside, oh, okay. I think. So, yeah. But uh, as long as you have a friend okay. with you most of the time, you no can problem. I'm just I'm have them open right the door for you. Kind of warm today here. Uh, does this thing have AC? Uh, yeah, AC works. Nice. And uh, nice. maybe I'll take that out so it's not beeping unless okay. you want to crank it up. And there's a CB. I don't have it hooked up yet, but you got a CB. Nice. A CB radio. This you can see CB the uh, the original social network. You can see what's your CB there. handle again? Monster Hunter. Monster so Hunter. Forever in the same three to five mile radius at the exact same time. Maybe we'll chat on channel 19. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a test on uh, Monster Hunter testing the CB. I'm getting a lot of action right now. Well, does the CB come with the car? CB comes with the car. Not a lot of drivers around chatting right now. That's the problem. Freeways only hit by. 300 yards that way, I think there'd be quite a lot of action. Yeah, they're probably just, you know, it's probably a slow day out there, you know. Okay. The radio uh, does work, CD player, as you can see. Uh, oh, that's a CD right nice. there. Nice, that's nice. Uh, you know, little Cap, uh, Captain Beefheart is in there right now. Oh, wow, that's sophisticated. Uh, yeah, so it's got an auxiliary plug for an iPhone or a Android or something like that. Did you install this radio? This is aftermarket. Yeah, I installed the radio and the CB because the uh, factory stopped working. Glove box opens and locks. There's a GPS. Hey, I'll, I'll even throw that GPS in there. It's a Garmin. Nice. nice. Uh, yeah. So now, can we get a shot of the actual dashboard to see the mileage? Oh yeah. Let's see what we're at. That's 297, 870 miles. So by the end of uh, next week after the tour, I'll be over 280, 298. Wow. So this is about to approach 300,000 miles. Motor sounds great. And yeah. this is a, what, a 90? 90... 99. 99, uh, this is a uh, Camry LE. A Camry LE. Four cylinder. Four cylinder, four door. Four door. Okay, well, let's continue the tour, shall we? Okay. Once again, we're taking a tour of this uh, beautiful 99 Camry, 298,000 miles on it. Let's head back here. Uh, nice, uh, it's got the electric window thing. Yeah. Keep the ice off the back window. Gas door, nope. You Good looking trunk. Yeah, trunk's got a, bit, a lot of trunk space no, in we don't, Yeah, oh, we don't need the... Uh, oh, here, oh, Jesus. We don't need, uh, trunk's got lots of room, lots of room. Everything that comes in the trunk comes with the car. That's the deal. Uh, you know, it's, uh, oh, you know, that's a weird, I, it's a weird tick on the engine. Yeah, you need to turn that. 
That's Ryan Singer's car. Now, if you'd like to make an offer on that, how does this work, Ryan? Uh, they can reach me on my website, ryansingercomedy.com, or email ryansingercomedy at gmail.com. Make me an offer. I'll take the best offer I can get. And this is for real. This car is for sale, and it comes with everything in it, except probably the chick you had locked in the trunk. Yeah, or the luggage. The, the okay. luggage. The luggage in the trunk. This is Andy Kindler, and this is a different register in my voice. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. So continue. Do a, actually, I'm doing a CNN interview at 10, or else I'd go with him. Doing Larry King, first time. I'm very Larry. excited. Yeah, I just want him to go, Saskatchewan, hello! <laughs> Can you turn down the electric blanket? <laughs> I can't turn off the fan above the oven! <laughs> I go, you know what we're going to do, Larry? We're going to try to get your shoulders a little higher. You can do that. Why are my suspenders so tight? Because <laughs> they don't go around your n Larry. That's why they go around. See, if you let them go, the shoulders will do that. You won't look like a, you know, you look like a vulture in heat. You know, you know. Muncie, hello! Question for the skinhead! I actually uh, have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I'm making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Safety first. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Yeah! Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Every you know what the microwave was invented for hot dogs. You know what doesn't work? What? What's that? My mom would do this. We'd be out of hot dog buns, and she would take a hot dog, cook it, then slice it in half, and then slice the halves in half the other way, and lay them on a hamburger bun. Yeah, oh. yeah that's the yeah, same, made the same. No, yeah, those are okay. Hot dog the, buns no. and hamburger buns are the exact same thing, just a different shape. See, it that is different, right? Christy. It's like my argument no. about pasta. No, pasta yeah. That is way more objectionable, uh, less object. Did you boil in sausage? No. <laughs> okay. I'd rather have a hot dog hamburger. If yeah. You follow you know, the way I. I got a question then. for you, Chip. Me? So yesterday. Good luck. Stop to get an iced tea. Yeah. Pull in, get out of the car, and. A lady gets out of the exact same car that I have right next to me. And, uh, right. you, and so, you you have gone on record as saying you don't like drive throughs No, no, I never go to the drive -thru. Never go to the I, drive I, I, I Only if, if okay. I'm desperate. Right. Anyway, uh, so this lady gets out of the exact same car that I have. Same color. Yeah. Everything is the same. Right. And she Except is, the license plate. Well, presumably. It's a different <laughs> car. The... Uh, the then she happens to walk right in behind me at the various tea store, and I look at her and go, Hey, nice car. Uh, Got yeah. nothing. Well, she probably well, didn't notice that you were driving the same her. car, right? Yeah, she, she walks right by my car. It no, doesn't mean yeah, she noticed. She saw you it. gotta think car. about how, how they're people the aren't thinking, very yeah. observant. <laughs> yes, and, but every and, and that's right. No, but this gets Dude's back to my me. original point, which is going to be the death of us all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything he's experiencing, everyone's experience. It's the same mm -hmm. time. Now, when you see someone in your everything exec, he's thinking, everybody else is thinking. Not when I drove my Jeep Cherokee, which I a great Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yes. I don't think I was here when you had the Grand Cherokee. Sure you did. Yeah. Uh, the black oh, one. Okay, I'm sorry. I stand corrected. Um, <laughs> I gave it to Willie. That one. Anyway, uh, I would see people in a Jeep and wave at him. Then I found out that's not for Jeep Cherokees. No, it's yeah, just no. For the Wranglers. Well, why didn't somebody tell me that when I got it? Well, you never asked. So people are just like, I'm an idiot for waving at him. No, no, no. You're an idiot for a lot of other reasons. <laughs> yeah, that, that lady was probably thinking about who knows what, and then she thought, she may have thought you were hitting yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Which, were, were you hitting on her? No, I just it was kind of, I thought it was humorous that. Hey, nice car. Yeah, nice we car. were in the exact same car. Did you say toots? I like your whip. End? Did you say junk in the trunk? 
I don't recall if she had junk in her trunk. I would, Did you was, say, hey, let's it, have it, sex it, in your car? It was an SUV, <laughs> so there was there was no trunk. Hey, a nice car. Can uh, we have sex in it? Let's have sex like in your that? car, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, <laughs> I'm getting nothing here. <laughs> Boy, stuck <laughs> up. Oh, jeez. Stuck it. Is there, a, is there an alternate version of junk in the trunk for uh, SUVs? Oh, uh, <laughs> something in the way back, I guess, right? Crack in the back. Crack in the back. <laughs> That's not bad. That's I, pretty I, good. Does yours have three seats? Can, no, it does. It six. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a third seat in the back. Yeah, yes, yes. So it all folds down. You know so what? there is yeah. a lot of room back there. You I can don't make know it if bed. mine. I don't know if mine has three seats or not, and I don't <laughs> want to find out. There, I see. Yeah, it. yes. I don't care. <laughs> fair. You don't know. Don't know, and I don't care. I like fair that lazy, fair attitude. When my it comes last to car, I did not know it had a CD player. I'd had it for several years, and I one day was trying to find something and pressed a button, and a CD tray f flew out. I can only flew imagine. I had, no, I, had, I had no idea that was in there. I can only imagine the things this new car does that you have no idea. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. I still can't figure out how to get the back door to open. <laughs> that seems like a major... I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. in other words, it, it's when I get out of the car, the back door is always locked, and i got to open the front door again and hit the button. I want to have, when I stop the car, I want the doors to be open. Well, all you have to do, that's a setting. Why, so the kids can get out themselves? Or? It's, a, it's a setting. It's a its a safety setting so that only your door unlocks so nobody else can jump in your car. So you have to, there's a setting on your car where you change that. I mean, that lady was going to jump in my car and say, I she thought it was could've. yours. Oh, yeah, was that sex you were going to say? <laughs> all right, okay. You just uh, t uh, turned down a blowy in a parking lot. So, H -O -H. so you wouldn't, if someone pulled up right next to you, exact same car, you wouldn't acknowledge it in any way? There's a, dude, you uh, No, I wouldn't because I mind my own business. A few years ago, I, I went, oh, people aren't paying attention like I am. And it doesn't exactly. mean they're not paying attention to anything. It just means they're... And they're they're focused on their own thing. Right. I wouldn't pull a guy over and tell him that he has his child seat installed incorrectly either. Well, that's because he had it in the front seat and it was illegal and the there kid was facing going. the wrong See, way. It could have you, been a terrible you tragedy. Would do that. You would do that. I did do that. I know. That's because you're insane. <laughs> you now, that, that, a, a, a public, situation a like public that service. does go one of two ways. It's, uh, thank you, I appreciate you helping me with this. I'm going to move my job. Or he shoots you. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Either one. Yeah, yeah. For, all enough, for, all enough, was, for all I know, he was kidnapping the baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and in 10 minutes later, I'm going to hear an amber alert. Oh, we're, oh. Looking for, we're looking for a white suburban northbound on Shadeland oh. Avenue. He was armed. Kidnap um, child now properly secured where it should be. Be in the back seat. Okay. Yeah. Ten four. Oh yeah. That's the, right. Had, I'm a deputy sheriff. Yeah. Yep. The double wham. Yeah. That's the, me. Deputy seat, sheriff. Seat facing the wrong way and the whole thing. Mm. Okay. Uh, no. Um. Well. I have a story for you. This is breaking news, Josh. Okay. Because you're a Red Lobster fan. Not, very, very much so. Not because of anything else. I understand. <laughs> Thank you. After I said this, I went, Oh God. <laughs> Apparently, after debuting the Endless Lobster event in New York City last year, Red Lobster is bringing complimentary meals to lobster fans across the country. That's right. Uh, for a, a 150 lucky people starting this coming Tuesday, you can enter for a chance to win the Red Lobster experience, which includes <laughs> one complimentary two-hour seating with endless lobster, <laughs> two sides, and wow. warm Cheddar Bay biscuits. All right. Yep. How, how many, How many, Josh? How many, How many lobsters, lobsters could I yeah. eat? <laughs> Over under five and a half. <laughs> yeah. Two hours. Five in the hook, yeah, baby. Five and a half. Yeah, right right yeah lobs, half, lobsters, six. there's, there's, there's not a lot that of, much. It takes a lot of could, yeah. time. There kind of isn't that I much. I think in two hours, I think six, seven, eight. If I'm sticking strictly with tails and claws... Uh, uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. you can have it cracked in the kitchen. I mean, they'll they'll get the meat out on the plate for you, probably. Holy cow! Yeah. Right. Well, you, you maybe maybe not butter? in this scenario. Yeah, because yeah. they want the work. Yeah. The I time. think you butter. would want. Of course, I'll have the drawn butter. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You got to have that. Yeah, and then you know what you do? Well, would you boil it, Tom? Then as as well, lobster, you boil. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> How would you cook it? I'd fry it up, baby. Fry that <laughs> lobster up. I have grilled them. Sure. Yeah, that can also be done. No, well, Pat, that's not... Pat, you're the big red lobster guy. Uh, my son, son loves it. Yeah. yeah. I like it, too. So when you go there, you can't eat anything because you're a vegan. No, I just watch him eat now. We got a <laughs> Last night for Valentine's Day, you watched your girlfriend eat. Yeah. That's yeah. the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Why don't you get a salad, for God's sake? Yeah, this is a choice he's making, and it's a, it's a good choice. He's yeah, fine. Yeah, you fast for a little bit, about 16 hours, then you eat in a certain time frame, and then you stop. And, yeah, but... and the key is you feel good, don't key, you? Yeah, I feel great. Yeah. Who are we to question that? Don't you get hungry? I do. Very. Do you get looks from the, <laughs> yeah. 
starts right now. Do you get looks from the waiter? Not really. No one. Yeah. I'll have the water. I guess they're used to And that. good for her for accepting. Uh, not A lot of uh, people, and I think particularly women, wouldn't be comfortable eating and the person, the guy next across from her not eating, you know? Right, yeah. She's very supportive, yeah. Yeah, very that's cool. nice. Does she um, underscore the fact that the food's absolutely delicious? <laughs> uh, <laughs> from time to time. Wow, yeah. this, this pork it, chop is Sorry, terrible. you're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> Does she occasionally tell you, though, that she's proud of you for sticking Yeah, this? absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. She wants you around longer. She's in charge of uh, the not dying the hair anymore. Uh, yeah. Is she dressing you? Uh, sort of. Did she pick out those glasses? No. Oh. How does she feel about them? I think she likes them. Okay. We didn't talk. You'd know if she didn't. Yeah. yeah you I didn't would have know. them on last night. I had them on for just a short period of time. Do you wear them in the uh, in the intimate moments? Are you? Uh... I think we just learned he doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Only. Uh... That might be nice, though. That might oh. interfere Change with the, the CPAP whole. mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's a look. Yeah, right? You ever for a laugh put that over her boob? <laughs> you ever done that? little C-tat? <laughs> I think we're uh, ready to... I think her dad's listening to... A little ready to uh, take a break, aren't we? A little we? T-pap? Yeah, her dad listens? Yes. Yeah, right oh, up, uh, then I'm, right then up I'm, against I'm, the I'm, break. I'm glad I went with boob, because that was not my first <laughs> idea. Uh, right. Broadcast people. That's CPAP indeed. Oh, boy. I leave here every day in trouble. Up against the, up against the break is what we are. Uh, we're, oh. coming, we're coming right back. I'm sorry. Uh, we have a, a dead cow on the freeway in, uh, in Ohio for three days. Stinking to high heaven. <laughs> coming up, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the... I've got something that'll cheer you up. We often uh, record announcements for various what? stations along the Bob and oh, Tom radio no. network. Right. And uh, the other I day... I thought, I'd hope you'd forgotten about this. The other day we were recording yeah, something too. and uh, you guys, as usual, were... <laughs> I honestly forgot about it. I do not know what this is. Are you kidding? I'm not. We were joking around. So we were uh, reading this uh, commercial for an interesting place, a fine place, and... Um, we had to. This is. This, these are what you would call an uh, an outtake version of it. Where did we did will not be. Uh, We're not going to put them on our albums. The fifty um, studio outtake album. Oh, see, people would want to hear that. <laughs> it's like yeah. the Beatles again. Just like yeah. they'd want to hear Josh yesterday yeah. saying something <laughs> bad. He, Slip of the. He just yeah. said the oh, S word. It was an accident. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, FCC doesn't recognize oh, that as the so called S word. I was in a vulnerable spot. Uh-huh. I know you were. I've apologized. I had no idea. I thought it was a part of the gag. Um, once again, uh, Josh how, and Chip dressed up as the that? girls in um, the little girl twins in The Shining. It was brilliantly <laughs> hilarious. It was very funny. Everything about it was funny. I think we have some photographs in the various bomb oh, social media wigs, platforms. Great wigs, by the way. Huh? Hands yes. off to yeah, you. I may have kept it. Okay, uh, here we go. This is. Um, <laughs> I would have. Well, this is what it sounds like when we're. We've had a long day. We're trying to record a few. Yeah, if you think we don't get along on the air, wait till you hear this. <laughs> so this has been beeped. This is the beep one I'm assuming over here, Dean. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, why would he give you a non-beeped version? <laughs> maybe he's... <laughs> well, Dean's close to retirement. He no, might no. like to see that. <laughs> but see, and maybe it's me, but it's like, well, of course, he forgot to beep everything. Uh, yeah. Do you guys remember the time that happened? One yes. time. That's one of my favorite things ever. In 90,000 shows, one oh, time. God, he forgot was, to beep it. God, that was funny. It was funny. We were playing back something that had been beeped, but we, they just missed one of them. Yes. And the one they missed was the big one. I'll blow your <laughs> no, <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Head off. Okay. Um, so here we go. This is uh, Here's how it goes. We're trying to read a commercial. Bless you. Knock that off. <laughs> Out. <laughs> off. Anytime, Tom. What, are you having a little moment there? A little tea? <laughs> He's rolling. Yes. I thought you gave me the wait sign. Sorry, they're they're all chomping at the bit in here. <laughs> Might as well be on the air. Hi. You thinking about f- for Thanksgiving? I'm sexually frustrated just trying to fill out the damn dating app. How about adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotion, potions? Okay, yeah. here we go. It's the Low Country's premier adult store. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? What kind of stuff do they have, Tom? Adult toys. Ooh. See, you're supposed to answer. Oh, sorry. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? Well, adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions. Leave the family fireworks at the Thanksgiving table and have some fireworks in the bedroom with your loved one. Oh, oh did you guys know that has the best bachelorette supplies? Oh, cool. I know yes. they have fun furniture. Mm-hmm. And Josh, 
Yes. For you? <laughs> yes. A d- straw? <laughs> well, they probably have those. I don't know that I would sip from one. But... Right. And, of course, Josh, they have novelties. Right. All right. Well, You're I'm... novel. Now, Josh, why don't you do the tag at the end? Let's see. Of course, novel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's <laughs> the only part, the only, only part you read verbatim. It's verbatim, pretty simple. It that says. means in Latin, read the whole oh. f- The Low Country's premier adult store, 2992 Ashley Phosphate Road, or online at guiltypleasuressc.com. Why does it always sound like you're running out of air when you read stuff? (laughs) Online at (laughs) guilt. It doesn't sound at all like that. God, Tom. You guys know, I thought. At the end, he goes, at guilty pleasures, you can barely get the seas out of air. Yeah, I, I did run out of air there. And we learned what verbatim meant. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, you were going so slow, we had places to go. What kind of furniture do they have? I don't know. Well, here's There's what happened. You see, go online and look it up. I'm I sure bet they have sex a, chairs or swings. swings. Do yeah. they sell, yeah. those, do oh, they sell okay. those male member straws? Haven't you ever had a Chinese basket job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no. What is that? Well, she hangs in a basket, and, yeah. maybe, and, she, and then you... Uh, uh, put her and on and you spin her, spin her, her yeah. Oh. What? I'm going to have to try this. Yeah. Then she vomits all over you from... <laughs> That sounds awful. What a weird, kinky guy you I are. Tell. <laughs> Sexy Tom. Oh, yeah. You'll be ready to run for your life. Yes, hello. This is Jose Impelero. You know, when I put on my air toros, I feel like I can... Oh, oh no. Oh, mi Dios. No, 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 toro. No, no. People would walk over you to get this shoe. Air Toros. Hemingway may have worn khakis, but he never got to wear Air Toros. Plenty of other famous people love their Air Toros. People like Gore Vidal, Bruce Hornsby, Red Skelton, and the Chicago Bulls. So, hoof it on over to your favorite shoe store, Air Toros. Air Toro, just do it. Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Why do you have to get drunk to be an ass? Why do you have to get tight before you get loose? Why do you need a double before you get into trouble? Can't you get into trouble without an excuse? You want to get up and get out and get free and get crazy. But why do you have to start by getting stoned? Because, Pat, you don't have to get drunk to be an ass. You can be an ass on your own. (laughs) Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that... Are you kidding? Yeah. No. I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're. <laughs> Bob and Tom. 24 7. Oh, yeah. Deanna. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. There's. Josh Arnold. Hi, Chick. He's at the uh, I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Now, I, I promised I would get to this uh, erection story. Oh, yes, from yesterday. Bang. Or day yeah, now, uh, yeah, the, do you remember the story, Christy? Yeah, this... there was some guy who is what they call a biohacker, where he's trying to stay young for the rest of his life. He's, what, 54 or something? And he was... Um, he's a actually, bill- and he's a, the, the key is he's a billionaire. He's a billionaire, and he's spending all this money to keep himself young, including in f- he's injecting his son's 18-year-old... His son's 18, he's putting his blood into his body, which is amazing to me because your blood is created all the time anyway in your own body. It's not like it's sitting in there for 54 years. I don't know. Um, yeah. 
but he said he could have an erection for three hours and 30 minutes now or something. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and but we were asking a couple questions. One of them was, how do you measure the length that one, uh, the, the period of time in which one has an erection? Right. Um, I mean, that'd be a weird thing if you, you know, you walk in the coffee shop, there's a guy over there with a stopwatch just sitting there. Hey, How's it going? Timing. Yeah, timing my erection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this comes to us from uh, uh, Mr. Uh, B, we'll call him. He goes, uh, uh, I am a, a, a vascular technologist. Vascular? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Now, he said, in the old days, doctor, doctors would use a roll of stamps around the male member at night to determine if a man was capable of, of uh, tumescence, if you will. Yeah. If he woke up and the perforations of the stamps were broken, then he was uh, physiologically able to... Uh, Maintain an erection. Mm. And uh, then they would look for other causes for uh, whatever mm -hmm. sexual dysfunction might be going on. Then along came a machine for measuring uh, what they termed nocturnal penile tumescence, NPT. <laughs> Sounds like the name of a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I saw REO and NPT last night. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Hard to play those songs. Yeah, oh, yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Complicated, yeah. yeah. The thing is called <laughs> the Ridgy Scan. Okay. As oh, in, for rigid, it, yeah. Yeah, as in rigidity. So he sure. has these three-hour, 30-minute erections at night while he's sleeping? Well, so far, this guy's only told us about finding out if he can have an erection. Yeah. We well, were wondering how he timed it, it. It's a monitor with two leads attached to a small round loop. Uh, the patient would attach the monitor using an elasticized leg wrap around the thigh and two loops around the uh, male member. Mm. So does it also measure the length of the, not the, <laughs> you know what I mean, the time duration? <laughs> Uh, the, the patient would return the monitor the next morning. It would download and print out a report dealing the strength or rigidity of the aforementioned male. Okay. Male. So that's how it's done. So you no, gotta, no, it isn't. That's you get, whole, you, you, you that's get, you get wired what up. What are talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? That just measures <laughs> the <laughs> fact that it can get erect. Yeah. It said nothing wanted, about how long. Yeah, yeah we, we wanted to know how he was. <laughs> you mean length or duration? No, you and duration. Mr. B right. have wasted our time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were questioning the fact. Uh, I was just know. wondering how the guy knew how long they. The uh, three hour fact. Right? Yeah, it's did he like hours. sit there with a watch and go, what okay, are you it's even, still hard. It's what are you hours. even talking about? <laughs> Erections. <laughs> Aren't you glad though that they've developed? They've gone past the roll of stamps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Mean, that's... Especially if they have those pre-licked ones. <laughs> that's uh, hey. I, oh look. I've... <laughs> that'd okay. Be, that'd be really kind of unappealing. <laughs> oh, the late Supreme Court justice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of health, a new study has found connections between different types of humor and your risk of depression and anxiety. Okay. The results suggest that benign humor serves as a protective factor for anxiety, stress, and depression. Irony was associated with anxiety and stress. Wit was linked to anxiety and sarcasm related to depression. Makes sense. If it I does. In Europe's yeah. Journal of Psychology. The sarcasm and depression thing, sure. Yeah. A darker, uh, more bleak, uh, cynical uh, attitude. Ah. Uh -huh. Does it say uh, if, if you're into uh, improvisation, you just have bad taste? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like improv, huh? No, All I'm right. kidding. I'm, okay. You're just making others suffer from depression? I, um, okay, that seems to be... Painting, Comedy is pain, that's pa what they painting say. Painting with a pretty broad stroke, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, I, who, who's to say? Yeah. Also, scientists say that watching someone visibly dislike vegetables might make on-like onlookers onlookers dislike them as well. I believe that. I do not understand this at all. It's part of a study on social modeling. Young women watched videos of strangers who either made a negative, neutral, or positive facial expression while eating raw broccoli. Watching someone eat broccoli with a negative expression made people like it less, but did not reduce their desire to eat it. Well, why would you eat raw broccoli and that nasty? <laughs> Pat, is that, is that on your menu? Sure, Violed. a little bit of the raw broccoli. I like that raw uh, oh, cauliflower. Okay. Is that right? Carrots? Yeah, I like Put that. But, but, I don't mind but this, really, this isn't about the broccoli. It's about social pressure. So, I guess. If everyone says, oh, this is terrible, and you kind of, oh, yeah, it sure is. Everyone goes to see Barbie and see this. This is revolutionary. This is great. And there we go again. No, that's, that's not. Let's <laughs> leave it alone. There's, there's. Oh, uh, we've all lived this sort of similar thing where if a kid falls and gets hurt, 
and you go, oh, ooh, oh, no, come here, they're probably going to cry. But if you go, hey, you're a big girl, you got this, uh, you're oh, okay. I get what you're saying. The kid sure. no, doesn't cry. Right. You've, we've all seen that. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this is a good thing. So if you're eating vegetables at home and you want your kids to eat them, act like they're the most delicious things in the world. And do the choo-choo train thing or the flying, you know, you do the flying thing, right? Uh, my kids are adults now. I don't have to do you that You don't anymore. do the thing, meow, meow, no. meow. I did that with Willie. <laughs> Once again, uh, no. as Christy pointed out to us a long ago, she stopped having children in a normal fashion. <laughs> yeah, I see. Right. Okay. You remember age, that. Yeah. Yeah, when the kids were little, you do the thing. You'd take, uh, Josh, you, you feed your nieces and you, you take the spoon of the stuff and you go, <laughs> you do the airplane. Meow, you, meow. you do the airplane, sure. Josh? You ever did the airplane? Yeah, 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 especially sure. with my nieces. <laughs> but sometimes they would get mad because I would go, rah, rah, and I'd throw the fork on the floor and go, John Denver! Oh. 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 Yeah. Wow, that got cold fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they didn't think right. it was funny. Yeah. Wow. So now, now, do you find uh, other aspects of watching people eat or vice versa? For example, have you ever uh, found yourself craving hot dogs after watching porno? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you um, made hot dogs the other night? Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Well, here's the thing, Tom. I, by that. I am, I, I, I'm constantly craving hot dogs, so I can't tell if the porno has anything to do with it or not. Okay. Just, just wondering. I don't know if I'll ever have any sort of sausage or hot dog again after talking with you today. You're boiling your breakfast sausage. Somebody I, told me that the, one of the most watched days on Pornhub is Valentine's Day. Oh, that's interesting. Isn't it? And I said, as a couple or solo? I, I would imagine uh, it all goes up, probably, yeah. as a yeah, couple, probably. Uh, but as a couple especially, yeah. yeah. I, bet so. I don't know. I don't have any facts to base that on, but it Let's was... See what comes up. I'm going to Pornhub now, as if it aren't... If, is it, as if it <laughs> isn't already up. <laughs> it's on, Mark. Is, 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 it, is, it on your, is it on your front page right there? <laughs> yeah. Just click on the app. And I'm going to search Valentine and see what comes up. Now, I guarantee there are some porn stars with that name. Like, like, oh, uh, yeah. I, think, I believe there's a do they, so do they have Valentine specific porno? It's amazing. Well, sure. What, what, the first thing that comes up is uh, just awful. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a topic that we know is like number one in these. It's oh the. Family. I'll just give you these. It's <laughs> step daddy is one of the, uh, oh, the terms. Man. That is very very popular, Christy. Hmm. You know, to get the Valentine thing, do they have like a poem? Oh, this is hilarious! I I, I so badly want to read these. <laughs> are, they, are they are they poems? No, there's no there's no poem. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, they give away free premium on Valentine's Day too. Which, there you go. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is it? They give a free premium. Everything's free on Pornhub oh, on Valentine's you Day. Yeah. Yeah. There here you go. go. There's uh, your Valentine's date goes wild. Oh. In a public park. That's oh. one of the videos. Mm. Thick whore gets drilled on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so it's subtle. Oh. Thank you for yeah. sharing Sorry that. Sorry I brought this up. All right. Uh, yeah, these are uh, very romantic. Roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> I think you can finish that. Hey, now that you've wrapped up Valentine's Day and the gift giving with uh, Raycon earbuds, uh, maybe you'll keep them in mind when maybe a birthday coming up or uh, some other... Holiday Raycons, you remember, have the optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. You know, Raycons fit every ear ever made. They actually stay in your ears. They will not fall out, whether you're going for a run, walking the dog, or dancing to your favorite tunes. And like any love story, Raycons are here for a good time and a long time with eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. You get an amazing quality audio at about half the price of other premium audio brands. And don't forget the awesome features like noise isolation and three customizable sound profiles. And uh, Raycon earbuds right now, of course, always have the 15% off just because you listen to the Bob and Tom Show. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom, the already low price, and get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Do it now while you're uh, thinking about it. Thank you, Chick McGee. Coming up, um, we have uh, Al Jackson, comedian. Look forward to talking to Al. And uh, we have um, grits in the news in a uh, somewhat unpleasant manner. Hmm. Uh, and also the AI boyfriend. Is that the next big thing mm -hmm. for you? This is the Bob and Tom Show.
increase his salary if we're going to get him to do it right. Do it right. Art, I know one of your favorite words is yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, thank yes. you. Uh, yes. You've heard and seen the Say Yes to Michigan commercials, I'm sure. Yes, yes. Uh, well, there's a billboard in Indiana. In fact, there are a lot of them. An Indiana yes, billboard yes, company has uh -huh. launched a war between yes. the states yes. by erecting a billboard that says, Shut up, Art. Yes. Oh. No, it oh. says, uh, Say no to Michigan. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it says, Say no to Michigan. Wander Indiana first. Michigan tourism officials are taking the slogan war in stride, but some Michigan residents are not amused. They've even complained to the Indiana Chamber of Commerce. Travel officials in Indiana say they have nothing to do with the billboard. On the other hand, they're not terribly upset about it either. Josephine Hickman, president of the Hoosier Outdoor Advertising Company, admits her billboard design pokes fun at Michigan, but she says there are Say Yes to Michigan signs posted all over northern Indiana, and Hoosier's feelings are hurt. Hey, we're a fun place, what can we say? Elsewhere in the news, Governor Milliken has signed a major supplemental spending bill containing more than $260 million. For JML News, I'm Art Bishore. No, you're Tom Gerswold. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not. Smarties News is brought to you by so, uh, uh, Auto Glass Specialist in Gaylord Cadillac and Iron Mountain. For fast, professional Batoski, it's partly sunny and 64. JML News time is 7.57. Everybody. Well, Tom, one thing I want to say, first of all, your dick is bigger than this microphone. <laughs> well, is it my turn to talk? Because yours is smaller than this cigarette. <laughs> so uh, we'll just go from there. Thank you. Got to get some news, Art, so I have to cut short. I got to go in the air in five minutes here. Oh, Jackie O. Hmm. Ah, oh, Miss Universe Swimsuit Competition. Oh, I swim love her. Swimsuit? Suit. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We had fun on the air here today. It Tom is from beautiful Cleveburg. No. Shaker Heights, Ohio. Tom Griswold recently worked in Florida radio, also worked in Petoskey radio right across the way at McDonald Broadcasting. Had a great time and really learned my stuff there. Thanks for the staff, Trish, by the way. Hi, Hi to the folks in Daytona Beach. <laughs> Get a sunburn from Morgan Freeman reading, Little Miss Muffet sat on the <laughs> eating her curd and whey. <laughs> Along came a spider. <laughs> it's too good. It's perfect, man. I would, can you do Liam Neeson doing one? Three blind mice. <laughs> See how they run. <laughs> what are they running from? <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> a man who's kidnapped my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you have any special skills? I don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't know what these mice want. Mm -hmm. But if they're looking for some cheese, I'll tell you this. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, on. This. I'm loving this. <laughs> Pacino you know in uh, Hickory Dickory? Skills. Hickory Dickory Dock. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> the clock struck three and all went wee. <laughs> that can't, that's wrong. That's <laughs> Uh, rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. <laughs> <laughs> what were the three men in a tub doing? A butcher, rub a, dub dub, a baker, in a tub. and a candlestick maker. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you three are. <laughs> I know what the three of you do. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you this this bathtub doesn't have a lot of time. <laughs> I can achieve that look in just a few short weeks. From the makers of miracle Grow, it's the Pubador. <laughs> the Pubador starts at the root system, giving your patch a major poof that only the latest in Frigamol technology can provide. Wow, Chick. Is that an airbag in your pants? Or are you just happy to see me? Let's just say my curly fries have gone home style. Uh -oh. The Pubador is a simple three-step system. First, apply the Miracle Mix to desired region. Place those puny pubes in curlers, and then let the Pubador leave you high and dry. Wow, it looks like a blooming onion. The Cubador, now available at the Bob and Tom Personal Care Outlet Mall. Warning, not intended for beards, backs, or buttocks. Ask for the Pubador by name. Pubador. This is Jimmy Pardo. You are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 
joining us in the studio, comedian Ed Yeager. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Ed. Ed. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. I'm glad football season's almost here. I love football. I do, too. I was uh, sitting, I was in a hotel room, <laughs> and I just, I was watching a football game, and I, I opened the drawer, I pull out the Bible, I turned, I, I turned to John 3.16. Mm-hmm. And it actually says, sitteth thee in the end zone with a large sign. <laughs> <laughs> when father dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I work the state fair. Weber. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. We've come to the point in our uh, broadcast morning. We're going to talk to a special guest, Tom. Is that correct? Should be on the big screen. There he is. Oh, yeah. It's a is. comedian, yes. Al Jackson. It looks like you're on the International Space Station, Al. It's slowly starting to get there, and you're lucky, Tom, because uh, some of the neon lights aren't lit up yet, so I'm going to address that once we're off the air. Okay. Uh, I definitely have a lights addiction, and we need to talk about it after the show. Are you in your in your man cave, such as it is? Uh, studio, man cave, uh, but I don't watch TV in here. The TV's out front, but yeah, this is a, I don't know, I think there's some dudes that gravitate towards the garage and that's kind of where I'm headed. I like to tinker around in rooms. It sounds really good. Ladies. Um, it sounds really good. <laughs> Your mic sounds yeah. great. Yeah. So you're, oh, well, you're, you. you're going to put a TV in the garage and start I, Well, I've got four monitors in here. There's a, a guy on my show who uh, he literally, in his free time, he fixes up. Because uh, obviously at a television station, they burn through TVs a lot. So I have witnessed with my own eyes like uh, trash cans that have like 31 flat screens in them. Yeah, it's a weird right. thing to look at. It's, right. a, it's the craziest thing. Uh, but you forget, like, TVs are on in the station all the time, and he takes those and fixes those up. And some of them he just gives to me. So I have three, like, old... Uh, it's like a 2030 Sanford and Son in here. All right. Oh, cool. <laughs> Futuristic. Uh, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Um, Al Jackson has a couple of albums floating around in the ether right now. Uh, including your uh, DJ debut, is that correct, Al? Uh, yeah, yes, I just make original music. I've DJed before live, uh, which is uh, you never really understand how much you hate birthday requests until you've <laughs> DJed live. That's it's a different kind of. There's a mixture time of entitlement and vodka, where mm. you've just played the song that somebody's requested and they've staggered over to you. And now they're even more upset that you haven't played that song. That literally, it, it, the echoes of it are still playing. Mm. Play what? Ludacris. Uh, Ma'am, I played that for you. You asked me. I I know, but now my friends are here. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. Okay. We're just going to, we're going to be your own, your little iPad today. We'll just play the songs you like. Now, are you up to speed on uh, what works and gets people out on the dance floor? Uh, you know what was uh, working a lot? The last time I DJed, uh, I've done a couple of friends' weddings, but the, when I was DJing for uh, uh, nightclubs, it was uh, if I, if I wanted to get everybody out dancing, uh, I'm gonna I'll give you a hint. It was a black woman three years ago that everybody would dance to. Anybody in the studio got a guess? Uh, no, no, gosh, no. Um, I, Tracy Chapman. How many years ago? <laughs> sorry, sorry. This Alan. is like three years ago. Lizzo? Yes. Uh, look at, look at Christy. Lizzo. Right, just, Lizzo. Yeah. Lizzo. I, you know, when you do things live, because we live in such a world where we get stats thrown at us a lot, you know, like this is the number one album and everybody, mm -hmm. when you DJ live, you see what people like. And three years ago, kind of right after the lockdowns ended, Lizzo was one of the few artists that, like, you know, a couple, she's 51, he's 57, they, he wants to go, but she's like, this is my one night out, can we stay for one more hour, you old man? <laughs> and so he's sitting there, and he doesn't want, and then when Lizzo would come on, she would drag her man out to the dance floor, and within 20 seconds, they'd be dancing and having a good time. Which, awesome. it was, which, which Lizzo tune was it? It was that song, one of her first ones, it's called Juicy. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, but it just was, it's such a, like, a fun, almost like an 80s dance song. Uh, it, yeah, it's, uh, there, there are certain songs that just, like, people oh, yeah. love, and that, that was one. Yeah, wedding so DJs, there's a couple of, I mean, standards. Yes. The, well, the well other... now wait. Your wedding standards yeah, yeah, right. are going to yeah, be a lot that. different. <laughs> like, you no, know, you don't. Know, but the electric slide. Yeah. You know? Yes. Uh, wait, well, that's my the bigger question. Time is: Has the Cupid Shuffle <laughs> I pa- uh, surpassed the electric slide? To the left, to the left. I think so. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, I think they I think both. So. They should both be played. And then there's the one that causes everybody to make. You know, what's the one where everybody grabs everybody's ass and spins or walks around? That's the called bun, HR. Like a, a conga line? The bunny, conga line, yeah. The bunny, <laughs> the bunny hop? No, the, the conga line. What do you play I haven't the... seen a conga line in a while. You're grabbing their waist, not their Yeah, butt. not their ass. Yeah. Hey, so yeah. This is a radio show. I think we that's why they're not around we, anymore. We try not to take the low road. I prefer to call it ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just like that Tom just makes up his own rules. What's the song where you grab their balls? Which one's that? <laughs> <laughs> that you know, everybody knows. Uh, <laughs> Stairway way to heaven. He does that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Freebird. That's yeah, it. Freebird. Al, Al uh, I used to DJ, uh, but it was uh, back in the day with, with, well, I guess some of them still have turntables, but. Yes. Yeah, and that's you, impressive. It, it, you can't, especially at a wedding, you can't win, because you got the you know the the kid who just went out to his van to smoke some joints and. He walks up, hey, man, play Led Zeppelin. Well, I don't, really don't think the ride's going <laughs> to... Yeah, it's, it's a... yeah, people don't understand that this is somebody's wedding. Because uh, there's a... Weddings are the weirdest thing that we do in society because it is inarguably two people or definitely an individual's biggest day probably of your life. It's the day that everybody you know will show up and show out for you. And on that day, we have an open bar... And so you mix that with a bunch of people's emotions, Mm. you know, like you don't realize like going to weddings until you get older that like, oh, she hates her sister or her mother's jealous. Like these weird dynamics that you're like, and then they get on the mic for the, you know, the the groom speech or, you know, the the, (laughs) the best. And they're just, oh, Christy Lates, you've always been mom's favorite. So never give them the mic. And you're like, oh, no. Like everybody's there like, what is happening? I don't want to be. This is really bad. So weddings are like, uh, I've always wanted to see some kind of show that does like um, like a mea culpa for weddings because I feel like a lot of people are embarrassed for some behavior they had at a wedding. Oh, sure. I've been to uh, probably, I don't know, 10 serious weddings in my life, and four of them, something major. Like, uh, I was at one, and the C-bomb was dropped oh. three times. Oh, yeah. In the, a speech? Yeah, in the best man speech. Nice. And I think, like, oh, when, wow. when you're drunk, your, your brain is... Like trying to like stall for time, so you just have these filler. <laughs> Who was he referencing, man? Uh, he was. Oh it was God. just the way he was. Uh, he was calling. It was like it would be like, uh, call, "Oh, Tom, you're my favorite. Oh, you're such a jerk, man. You're such a jerk, man." But like he was just saying it to, like, "I love you," but like, kind of like, "Oh, you've been a wild yeah. boy." Oh. But I think that Thanks. word was just. It was. It was flying out, and he had no idea. Yeah, the, the term <laughs> of I believe the is impact. A, a cr- cringeworthy, I think, is the yeah. appropriate uh, yes, description the, of that. The, yeah. Uh, well, Al Jackson is our guest, and Al does have a couple of uh, albums out there. How do they find them, Al? Oh, anywhere you stream your music, pick up uh, Cadence as a Weapon, which is my musical album, and In Earnest, which is my comedy album. So I'm already working on a new comedy album. I had three shows last night, Tom, so I've been asleep for about three hours, and I'm back up doing it. But yeah, I had uh, fun with the Valentine's Day shows. Everybody taking a lady out. So shout out to that. Shout out to love, Tom. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, um, uh, the exercise that we perform on this program, Al Jackson helps me with uh, contemporary vocabulary on the street. Um, I do. Yeah, you because know, uh, the street that I live on, there's not really it's all that not, hip. Yeah. Really, uh, <laughs> just It's not just the street you live on. Yeah. It's your it's your, the cul-de-sac. Your world. It is, is a cul-de-sac. Not sure. really that. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have golden retrievers live in a cul-de-sac. I'm I'm that guy. Uh, Al, give me give me a word here or a phrase. I'm ready. All right, Tom. If somebody uh, texts you the acronym H L F in reference to someone uh, I guess could be of the same sex or opposite sex, what 
what would that mean? HLF. If somebody said, what's up with you, you and Tom? And someone texted back, HLF. What well, would that I mean? know that I'll the, give you the first. I word, know what the F stands for in DTF. <laughs> Is it, is it the same? It's almost the exact opposite oh, of this okay, one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, now I think I like your definition. Um, HLF. I don't. I, I don't. I have. I have no idea. Hot like fire. Will, is that it? <laughs> no, <laughs> but that should be. Hot it's like fire. Better. I love that. <laughs> She's she's That's hot. Great. She's yeah. HLF. And How are things with you two? Oh, they're hot like fire. Hot like fire. She's hot HLF fire. and DTF. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's, there's your Valentine's night. <laughs> well, now wait, wait till we find out what HLF means. Okay, I'm sorry. What is it? Oh, keep What's going. What's the now. first word? Uh, the first word is homie. Oh. Oh. Uh, homie, oh, uh, yes. uh, homie, homie like, wait, wait. homie like foamy. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, I feel like oh. Tom was about to say something. What were you saying? It, it, it felt like you were on the right track. Homie love fest? <laughs> that was really close. Um, it's homie lover friend. That means that somebody's oh. like your friend that you mess around with too, and like we're cool, but it's like you know we're not together. But mm. if we have some drinks on Saturday and we're both gonna stay over, <laughs> like it's it's kind of like that. It's like the the literally the best kind of friend you could have. Yeah, the, the most underrated relationships. Now help me distinguish like, between. That was, a, there's an old phrase for that, right? F yeah. buddy, F yeah, buddy, yeah. buddy, yeah. What's the distinction between a homie and a friend? Uh, I feel like a a friend is 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 looser than a homie. If I if Does I a homie said, have to uh, be from the same town. <laughs> uh, no, I feel like a homie and uh, Josh. What do you think about this in Chicky? I think a homie is somebody that's tighter than a friend. Sure, yeah. I do like, think I could so be too. Like, oh, that's my friend, but my homie is like, yeah. If I'm out of town, call Josh. He'll pick you. He'll take care of you uh, right. until I get back. Like that's my dog. Like that's who I ride with. Right. My friend is like, oh yeah, I watch Monday Night Football with that guy. Yeah, I feel like a the, the word home in homie sort of suggests you know that guy can stay at my home anytime. A friend, not necessarily. <clears throat> Yes. I, I, I tell my kids all the time, the real F word is the word friend. You don't throw it around. People right. throw the word friend around too much. Like, your friend should be there. You should only have, like, four. Like, real. Where everybody else is like, I'm cool with them. But okay, like, so four, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm taking notes. Friend. Four friends, how many homies? <laughs> uh, this this Even is less, an I SAT uh, no, question no. for... <laughs> if, uh, if four friends and six homies walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I would say... Yeah, I really can't get away I, with using the term homie. Really? Yeah, I think you can. Just turn it. Turn, 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 whenever turn I try to get hip and say you're my homie, it sounds forced. No, he can't. He can't You can that. use it. You can say something like, uh, boy, this ski lodge sure feels homey. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? This is sort of Griswoldian. This is very Griswoldian. Yeah. Tom, and, Tom and I are going skiing this year. All right. Uh, you better. I've already invited myself. Uh, okay. Well, I'll look forward to seeing you out there. Have you skied this you year? You don't sound like it. I haven't skied. I've only skied one time. Oh. oh. I, I'm planning to just go and kind of work the lodge. You know, get some cocoa, yeah. walk around, mix it up, get yeah. some business cards. Yeah. Pair <laughs> of bushy boots. Are, are, yeah. are there black people at the at the lodge? Occasionally. <laughs> Fewer than... Sounds like uh, we'll put a stop to that, but for now. You know, you could have uh, you could have said almost anything. Sure would have been good. Yeah. Al, Al has been to the lodge a few times. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, Ace has been up there. Uh, Tom, How is it? Any that don't have silverware in their hand? <laughs> <laughs> a hot plate. <laughs> That's hot. Wow. Woo. Uh, I, 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 I'm just guessing. <laughs> Not very many. I just, it's a Nordic sport. Oh, yeah. just, uh, I think the, the, Wait, I want to, Ace, how was your experience? I've skied like three times and fun. 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 That's it. Okay. Well, Ace, Ace, I, Ace I, I feel like general. I was there. <laughs> yeah. Try not to break He's anything. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd be nervous the whole time, I think. Really? Yeah, oh, it's I think so that's, fun. Yes. Well, um, but it's like, I don't know. I don't want to do anything where I could possibly need to have an orange helicopter come <laughs> pick me up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, they usually... Well, uh, that. Here, here. Al, they usually put you on a special sled and ski you down. <laughs> that oh, sounds and, awful. And then, unless it's really bad, because the helicopter can't land on the mountain, typically. <laughs> well, you're, you're oh, still my stands. goodness. Okay. Um, now, so we got HLF. Uh, homie lover friend, right? So you could say this yes. woman is your HLF. She's a yeah. homie as well as a, 
an F buddy and yeah. also friendly. But you're not you're in a really relationship. obsessed with F buddy. I don't think F buddies can exist, Tom. I don't. What? You what know do what mean? a friend of mine said, Christy? I'm gonna run this by you. All right. One of my, you know, me and the homies, we do discuss philosophy a lot. Uh -huh. And uh, my friend said something I can't really dispute. It. He said, once you've slept with somebody three times, you're in a relationship. Hmm, Whether that's you interesting. Admit Whether it or it's not. Like, Isn't that interesting? What if it's yeah. once a year? Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, it just a, I mean, now, Grant, th that would make it a different thing. I don't know right. why you're If it's you're three having, times in a row, yeah, that's kind of different. Not, yeah. not even in a row, but just like over the... Because everybody says they're going to keep it cash. Because it, yeah. casual is easier, more fun. But I don't know. After about a month and a half, that third time, fourth time after you... I think there's it's like... A natural physical connection where they, I don't know they just it's very hard for both parties to keep it 100 percent like cash because if you Makes most sense. relationships start out like that but you never meet anybody it's like oh I sleep with them every three months I've been doing that for about 12 years <laughs> like that doesn't like you got to make you're gonna have to make a decision bro yeah <laughs> now Josh in your experience after three times is there a discount yeah, I have a punch card. <laughs> a fourth one's free. A fourth one. <laughs> well, okay. Josh uh, knows it's on it's on his phone now. It's just a, it's a virtual right, right. Yeah, I got my yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ball so it's old school. Digital so bands. hurtful. <laughs> yes. He loves the who is. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he does like a. Let's get another phrase out of Al Jackson. Al. <laughs> I, I I don't know where we can go after that, uh, but I will. I will, uh, uh, Tom. And this is kind of one of my uh, favorite phrases um the shelf hmm the shelf um the shelf what would i what i mean I is know. it a anatomical reference it's gotta be uh, yeah see that guy's got a shelf ass <laughs> is, is it i was gonna ask I, if it was ass related I, yes yes i wasn't gonna say guy but yes you're neutral yes. like she's got an ass that you can set a drink on like that kind yeah. of thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, yeah I, you know but you wouldn't even just say like she has this shelf it would just be like bro she's stacked i mean shelf on deck <laughs> just totally you just it's like something it's more of an adjective to paint the whole picture Say, uh, it, but, uh, say it again. She's got a shelf on deck. What is it? Or is it a deck oh, separate? A shelf, a, f a shelf on deck just means like it's there and ready. So yeah. he, uh, on deck is just like the baseball term. So okay, uh, so it doesn't mean that her, like, her come over. I got her buttocks are so no. large. It's like a deck. You could put a lawn chair on it. No, oh, no. no. Yeah, but that sounds like an insult. No. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that one's that's, there. Yeah, that's that's, that's I'll like have, a, I'll have to remember that. <laughs> on deck is in ready to go. Yeah, of course yeah. I should. Yeah. I did. Yes. I'm sorry, I mixed my metaphor or, <laughs> Thank or you, unmixed it. I always like she has an ass you could park a bike in. I always like that one. Just that just that front tire. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds kind of painful, though. Well, you know, it's just so <laughs> the cheeks can just hold that. Like front one tire. of those city bikes, <laughs> right? Right. I always like tired those, ones. <laughs> and not one of those ones you you, you drive around the ski resorts with the huge, big, fat tires. <laughs> right, right. Be around the ski resorts. Yeah, <laughs> we're seeing those. Are, you can drive. I've seen them ride, around. Ride them in the snow. Tom can't relate to, to the large ass. Every thing phrase Tom like says, I just like I just picture that being his last phrase undercover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then you, you homies know when the ski resorts about to close, you <laughs> get your forty ounce and you. <laughs> your <hoop>. Blam! <laughs> <laughs> can't even finish. The He's an arc. <laughs> <He's an arc. laughs> that, that's the last thing they hear on the FBI wire is Tom going pate. No, I said an English cream golden retriever. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> A gun to the head. Uh, well, thank you, Al. So, is, can I? Can you? I'm sorry. Can, can you use shelf ass in a in a sentence for me? No. no yes. No, uh, no, 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 again, uh, he I just, just said love shelf it. on deck. Not That's no, all you say. Chick, yes. Chick, let it know. Okay. Chick, let it happen. I'm trying to let help out. Chick, I know you. I know you are. Don't right. don't beat yourself. Like I say, up. did you see that woman uh, alive? Her shelf is on deck. <laughs> that would sound like the craziest thing anyone has ever heard. Oh, yeah. Boy, I don't know. Be arrested. It sounds like a carpenter yes. with Alzheimer's. <laughs> Shelf is on deck. Hey. Four by four. Hey. Uh, support me. Untreated. Yeah. Uh, uh, Subflooring is uh, uh, ready uh, for uh, I'll tell you what, that's like a dovetail joint, that ass. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, continuing the... The furniture metaphor. Tongue and groove. And now yeah. we're behind. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, hey, Al, it's always a pleasure. Watch Al on the Daily Blast Live. Yes. yes I love you guys so Bye, much. Al. All right, Al. The best. You get, too, some man, sleep, get some sleep and tell it's us what the Al is. Okay, good. All right, thanks. <sighs>
that was very enlightening. Um, right now, it's time to uh, get back to the topic of food. And let's face it, we talk about food a lot. Jeez. We've been talking about something new for the last couple of months. And uh, I'll tell you what, we have reached a new level in our appreciation of cheese. We had no idea what was out there. Tell me more, John. You're exactly right. You know, you're, oh, yeah, everybody loves cheese. And then you have gardeners and you go, no, no, no. I love cheese. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. They're having their President's Day sale right now. You can save up to 20% off site-wide. So if you've tried it already, take advantage of this wonderful sale restock. If you haven't, now's your chance. I think you're really going to enjoy what they what they've got. It's the perfect time to try their famous squeaky cheese curds. Those are made fresh in the morning and most often delivered to your doorstep in only about 48 hours, and that's nationwide. Try a bit of everything with the Bob and Tom sampler package. This is the perfect intro to all of Gardner's most beloved products, including their bacon oven baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, my friends. Grill it, skillet, air fry it. You'll also get that eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, and so much more. Go to Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese.com slash Bob and Tom. They've made it very easy for you to pick up this package. For the sophisticated palate, they have super sharp aged cheddars, creamy. They melt in your mouth like butter. They go from four years all the way up to 17 years, and they pair perfectly with your favorite glass of wine or your favorite cold beer. Shop Gardner's President's Day sale today. Save up to 20% off site-wide. That's everything. Plus, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at gardnerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. And please do use that Bob and Tom page. It lets them know you're coming from us. We appreciate it, and they do too. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese.com slash bob and tom and they have their president sale so if you want that really big kielbasa ask for the <laughs> lbj <laughs> <laughs> uh, lyndon johnson purportedly the uh, most well hung of president uh <clears throat> just what they say it's just history my yeah. friends yeah, I, I google it It'll, okay. it's right there in black and white uh coming up christy lee what have you got iced tea in my nose <laughs> <laughs> mid gulp there uh, we have a dead cow in the middle of the road, kind of. We have a guy with a python in his pants. Um, we have apes with a sense of humor and a hiker who killed a coyote with his bare hands. But it could be worse. Yeah, and uh, we've also got marijuana possession yeah. uh, in Idaho. Kind of something kind of interesting, I think. Hmm. Wait till you hear this one. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. Three, four. Oh, you're going to paint that barn tonight. <laughs> oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you're going to finish all your chores, black bonnet girls. You make the Amish world go round. Yeah. <laughs>
can churn my butter anytime. Like butter. The electric hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Wow, just look at the way Vader swings his lightsaber. Wait, wait, Luke's about to get his hand cut off. You know, we'd really like to see the way you swing your lightsaber. I told all the girls about it. Dude, here it comes. Vader's gonna tell Luke he's his father. That's not true. That's impossible. Come to the dark side, Lou. Baby, you can come to the dark side if you want right now. I'll never turn to the dark side. I'm Luke Skywalker. Fine, forget it. You're more like Luke Skywacker. Enjoy going hand solo tonight, dork. Uh, you know, those are two separate characters, and actually it's pronounced Han, not Han. See, Han was actually a Karelian orphan who became a smuggler, and Luke was the son of Anakin who became a Jedi. All right, that's enough. <laughs> this has been the guy who would rather watch Star Wars than have sex. Oh, that is so sad. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Todd Snyder, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Sean Morey is here with us. Sean, nice to see you. Uh, yeah. I get annoyed by certain things. You know, People who use the word friggin'. Friggin'? What the hell is that? <laughs> Make a stand. <laughs> Either say the F word or say golly gosh darn. <laughs> what does friggin' mean anyway? I'm almost mad enough to cuss. <laughs> don't push me. <laughs> I'll say friggin'. I don't give a shooby dooby. <laughs> I heard a funny word the other day. Cripes. Cripes? cripes. Some guy said, for cripes sake. Who would that be? Jesus Cripes? <laughs> the son of gosh? <laughs> you know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Bob and Tom. <laughs> and that's not helping. Hi. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. We're all here, and there's Tom. Hello, Tom. I'm right here. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Now, Tom, the HLF. Mm -hmm. Homie, uh, lover. homie lover friend. friend. Yeah. So, that means we're lovers, Tom. HLF is going to rock you. So would you, would, you consider me, would you consider me one of your homies? Well, I think after 35 years, probably, yeah. I don't know what I'd... I don't know how deep a uh, homie I would have to go to get to you, but... <laughs> Do you call your friends your homies, Christy? No, I do not. Uh -huh. no. That's not a... Josh? No, it's not. It's, uh, I don't usually say it. Yeah, I, I, I feel awkward saying Ace, do you have any homies? I have friends. Thank you. No. Uh, okay. Uh, there are a lot of people over at Ace's house. Really? Is no. that right? I don't think so. 
Oh, there uh, aren't a lot. Just of the way he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> nice and peaceful. Uh, it's time to get back to the news. What, have we missed anything? Authorities in Florida have arrested a woman accused of battering her mother with grits. An <laughs> argument between the 64-year-old victim and the 28-year-old suspect turned violent when the suspect grabbed some of the grits being cooked by her mom and hit her in the face with the porridge-like food. Oh, jeez. A responding sheriff's deputy noted, observing dried grits on the side of the victim's face as well as matching grits on the kitchen counter in a nearby dustpan. And napalm was invented. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the 28-year-old was arrested for battery. You know, so, I mean, it said that I think a mother and a daughter can't live in harmony. No, they sure can't. They sure can't, and it's a, it's a tragedy, really. <laughs> That's the The case. Atlanta Falcons uh, at one point had, uh, I think when Dion was first on uh, in the league, they had a defense when Jerry Glanville was head coach, and they used to call it the, cri the Grits Blitz. Oh. <laughs> and they were pretty good. Nice. Actually. Yeah. Tom, the did you enjoy... Uh, Alice and the and the t the line of the, the famous quote, oh, "Kiss flow. my grits." No, not funny. No, <laughs> not in the least. I can see that. Josh is looking for uh, someone. He has evidently purchased a <laughs> "Kiss my grits" T-shirt yeah. with flow on the front, and nobody wants it. Nobody. Uh, he asked me if I would wear it, and I said uh, no, almost instantly. Yeah, I remember yeah. as a child you saying "Kiss my grits" a lot because we thought it was so funny when we were little kids. No like, kidding. Yeah. Wow! Didn't know that it wasn't funny. We so just, is that like that thing where people well, that, that see someone to you, it was funny. not liking broccoli, so that so everyone else thinks it's funny. Like, I don't know. Kiss my grits. Was that not a good show? No. Was it Linda Lavin yes, or whatever? And, I don't know good. how it. Vic I don't know Tabak? how it ended up on television. And of course, the great R and B singer Al Green uh, had an incident with grits back in the day. What happened, Ace? Oh, that's he famous. was in the bathtub. I think. Yes. And his girlfriend or wife came in with a. His ex-girlfriend came in and poured hot, scalding hot grits on top of him. Holy next, cow! And then the next thing you know, he's a reverend. <laughs> yeah. take, me, take me to the ER. <laughs> that'll, that'll get you there. Yeah, that story did not end well, by the way. Oh, all right. Yeah, you don't, don't want to. Don't her? Oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah, very quickly, too. She went grits up. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> And uh, depending on the trajectory, uh, perfectly possible. Oh, no. <laughs> so, you can anyway. tag your joke with that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was a brutal story, yeah. Take me to That's the true. ER. Yeah, Al Green had thrown hot grits, yeah. Do you like grits? Are you a grits eater? No, not really. I've had them. It's, no, it's, grits is like uh, uh, some sort of uh, you, uh, an excuse to put butter and sugar. In. <laughs> well, yeah. it is yeah. a delivery yeah. system for yeah. other exactly. things. Yeah. Yes. For, for, particularly for butter. Shrimp Cheese. and grits is quite a nice. Yes. Yeah. Cheese, yeah. grits. Oh. Nobody would oh, eat yeah. a potato if there, weren't, uh, there wasn't sour cream. Okay, there, I said it. What? what do you think of that? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't like a baked potato with just butter on it? No. Oh. You can't, you can't eat it. Or do you boil your potatoes, Tom? You boil them, boil them up. I enjoy a nice baked potato, um, sour cream. You boil it first, and then no, you no, bake it. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Thanks to Christy, I will occasionally enjoy a baked potato with just a, a dash of Molly McButter. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> she used to carry Molly McButter in her purse. I did. So. Yeah. Wow. still have some She gifted me a thing. Uh, sure does. Now, is battered grits a thing, or is that just... They, battered grits? I want to say that they're using, they're using it as a, the assault and battered yeah, her. Yeah. Yeah. She battered, battered her yeah. with grits, not battered grits. Okay, I'm, yeah. Yeah, you don't assault roll the grits. <laughs> An unfortunate play on words. Uh, it would be as if someone were they hit with a battery. They were assaulted with a battery. Yeah, uh, same, battery with same a battery. Same kind of yeah. joke, I see. Okay, um, do you remember Flo's last name? No. Flows on uh, the waitress, the sassy waitress oh, from Linda you know, Lavin's kid. character. You mean the no, fabulous the one, Holly oh. Holiday? Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can picture her right she now. She had real tall red hair. I want to guess. I'm gonna have to look. At she was. Uh, she went on to do uh, absolutely <laughs> nothing else. But boy, when she was Flo, mm -hmm. didn't they try to spin off Flo? Yeah. I there thought was a they flow. did. did they well, really? that, that was based on the movie, right? The Scorsese Alice movie. Anymore, Alice yeah. Doesn't yeah, but it, it was yeah. a waitress and a wa and, a, and a diner. And the that movie was, was real yeah. serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It didn't, didn't make much sense. You know, Chris Christopherson comes in, mumbles, bangs. Her. You know, it was like, it was, <laughs> I kind of like that flick. <laughs> yeah, really. That was a good. Yeah, it was a decent I kinda movie. Like it. Yeah, but <laughs> what was Flo's last name? No, I was right. I, I, then I remembered it for a really dumb reason. Oh, go um, on. I used to I used to live in a suburb of Orlando, Florida, called Castleberry. And yeah. she was Flo Castleberry. Oh. Wow. Well, Castleberry's also a 
uh, some sort of sloppy Joe mix or something. Oh, no kidding. Beef hmm. prepared. Yeah, Castleberry. I want to say that um, I'm a man, which man? So I, I think the high life for Anton in Orlando was either in oh Fern Park or Castleberry. You were talking about high life. Oh, everyone's hey, everyone's interested. It's relatable. <laughs> yeah, it's relatable. You ever do a high life for Anton Christie? Yeah, no. Fastest ball in the world of sports. There you go. It's it's the second time he's mentioned high line. It's the fastest <laughs> ball. Second time today he's mentioned. Yeah. You know, you catch the high line and throw it in. We don't that that's called uh, Shasta. Oh, that's, that's very close. Close enough for this is a Sesta. Super Very Sesta. good. Okay. Shasta is a cola, but I, yeah. I, I, I'll give it and to you. Zesta is a saltine. Oh, yeah, the, very good one. The judges say all three are fine. <laughs> as, long as, as long as they're not menthol. Not work on Jeopardy. Well, at least we're not talking about Bella and Bela Lugosi. I okay. guess I should right. count my <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Count my blood. Yeah. What's coming up, Christy Lee? We have a hunk of animal stories coming up. Dead cows, pythons. We have exotic animals seized in a suburban New York home. And do moths really get attracted to light? We'll find out. Oh. I read I thought, that. I kind of thought we answered that a long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, Once I, they sizzle I, into my electric light. <laughs> yeah. I, well, we're going to find out if it, if they wanted to go that way. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules. I've got something that'll cheer you up. We often uh, record announcements for various what? stations along the Bob and Tom oh, radio no. network. Right. And uh, the other I day... I thought, I'd hope you'd forgotten about this. The other day we were recording yeah, something too. and uh, you guys, as usual, were... <laughs> I honestly forgot about it. I do not know what this is. Are you kidding? I'm not. We were joking around. So we were uh, reading this uh, commercial for an interesting place, a fine place, and... Um, we had to. This is. This, these are what you would call an uh, an outtake version of it. Where did we did, will not be. Uh, We're not going to put them on our albums. The fifty um, studio outtake album. Oh, see, people would want to hear that. <laughs> it's like yeah. the Beatles again. Just like yeah. they'd want to hear Josh yesterday yeah. saying something <laughs> bad. He, a slip of the. He just yeah. said the S word. It was an accident. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, FCC doesn't recognize oh, that as the so called S word. I was in a vulnerable spot. Uh -huh. I know you were. I've apologized. I had no idea. I thought I was a part of the gag. Um, once again, uh, Josh how, and Chip dressed up as the that? girls in um, the little girl twins in The Shining. It was brilliantly <laughs> hilarious. It was very funny. Everything about it was funny. I think we have some photographs in the various Bob and Tom social media wigs, platforms. Great wigs, by the way. Hands off yes. Yeah, I may have kept it. Okay, uh, here we go. This is. Um, <laughs> I would have. Well, this is what it sounds like when we're we've had a long day. We're trying to record a few. Yeah, if you think we don't get along on the air, wait till you hear this. <laughs> so this has been beeped. This is the beep one. I'm assuming over here, Dean. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, why would he give you a non-beeped version? <laughs> maybe he's... Oh, yeah. Well, Dean's close to retirement. He might <laughs> like to see the Dean. But see, and maybe it's me, but it's like, well, of course, he forgot to beep everything. Uh, yeah. Do you guys remember the time more. that happened? One yes, time! That's one of my favorite things ever. In 90,000 shows, one time, God, he forgot was, to beep it. God, that was funny. It was funny. We were playing back something that had been beeped, but we, they just missed one of them. Yes. And the one they missed was the big one. I'll blow your head <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Head off. Okay. So here we go. This is, uh, here's how it goes. We're trying to read a commercial. Bless you. Knock that off. <laughs> Out. <laughs> off. Anytime, Tom. What, are you having a little moment there? A little tea? <laughs> He's rolling. Yes. I thought you gave me the wait sign. Sorry, they're they're all chomping at the bit in here. <laughs> Might as well be on the air. Hi. You thinking about f for Thanksgiving? I'm sexually frustrated just trying to fill out the damn dating app. How about adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions? Okay, here we go. It's the Low Country's premier adult store. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? What kind of stuff do they have, Tom? Adult toys. Ooh. See, so you're supposed to answer. Oh, sorry. What kind of stuff do they have, Chick? Well, adult toys, lingerie, lubes, lotions, potions. Leave the family fireworks at the Thanksgiving table and have some fireworks in the bedroom with your loved uh, one. Uh, oh, uh, did you guys know that it has the best bachelorette supplies? Oh, cool. I know yes. they have fun furniture. Mm -hmm. And Josh... Yes. For you. Yes. A d straw. <laughs> well, they probably have those. I don't know that I would sip from one. But right. <laughs> and, of course, Josh, they have... Novelties. Right. All right. Well, You're novel. Now, Josh, why don't you do the tag at the end? Let's see. Of course, novel. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's, <laughs> that's the only part. The only, only part you read verbatim. It's verbatim, pretty simple. It that says. means in Latin, read the whole. Oh. F thing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. The All Low right. Country's premier adult store, 2992 Ashley Phosphate Road, or online at guiltypleasuressc.com. Why does it always sound like you're running out of air when you read stuff? <laughs> online at guilt. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stop it not sound at all like that. God, Tom. You know, he goes, no, at the end, he goes, at guilty pleasures. You can barely get the C's out of air. Yeah, I, I did run out of air there. And we learned what verbatim meant. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, you were going so slow. We had places to go. What kind of furniture do they have? I don't know. Well, here's There's what happens. Guilty store. people go online and look it up. I'm I sure bet they have, have sex a, chairs or swings. swings. Do they yeah. sell those, yeah. oh, they sell those okay. male member straws? Haven't bucket. you ever had a Chinese basket job? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say no. What is that? Oh, she hangs in a basket, and yeah. maybe and she, and then you uh, put her and on, spin and you her spin her, her yeah. Oh. What? I'm going to have to try this. Yeah. What is then she vomits all over you? From <laughs> Sounds awful. What a weird, kinky guy you are. <laughs> Sexy Tom. Okay. Is. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more. Says for $89.95 plus shipping and handling. Yes, these fashionable accessories can be attached at the first signs of queasiness, holding even the most unruly quaff out of the line of fire. Each Billy Amazing Barfaway Barrette utilizes oversized pinch clips, making them simple to apply, even for the most impaired fingers. Just put them on as you're making a beeline toward the facilities and don't worry about a thing. Barf away barrettes work like magic to keep your hair swept back from your face and free of stomach contents, tooth fillings, and toilet water. You'll emerge from the bathroom or back alley stylish, empty, and ready for more. Yeah. Just clip it, unload, and forget it. <laughs> Best of all, if you order in the next five minutes, I'll include a tub of Bio Be Gone Breath Mints for absolutely free plus shipping and handling of $29.95. What comes up or down is nobody's business but yours uh -huh. with these powerful breath scrubbing mitts. So what are you <laughs> waiting for? Order my Billy Amazing Barf Away Barrettes and Bio Be Gone Breath Mints and let's get this party started. I'm Billy Amazing. <laughs> Hi, this is Carl Lewis, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We have uh, also a Matt Fulcher on here. Matt, exactly. um, I know you're, you're a rap fan. Do right, you, right. Do you curse a lot in your... Uh... Well, you know, on the radio, they take out all the curse words, yep. which means they take out all the words. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Oh, sure, for the song. rap songs. Yeah. Sure. Turn on the hip-hop station, it's like, I'm gonna you up so bad, gonna in the to your mother, <laughs> man. And after that, I'm gonna your mother, sister, gonna up, 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 up. <laughs> not, not even gonna kiss her. <laughs> something, something like that. Yeah. Right here. Like oh yeah. <laughs> and the sign said anybody caught trespassing <laughs> will be shot on sight. So I jumped over the fence and yelled at the house, "Hey, what gives?" <laughs> <laughs> say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. This Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There is Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. Maybe get a song this this time. Ready to go. What do you think? What do you think, Tom? What do you got over there? Song man? this time? There's Josh. There's Ace Cosby's right. here. I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Real quick, we were discussing Tom's technique for cooking breakfast sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, he chooses to boil it. Mm -hmm. and this is a link sausage. You boil sure. it, and then you get it cooked. Not, not patties, though. No, no. And then you, then you, but it takes some of the grease. Then you put it on the grill and just or on the frying pan and you know brown it up a little bit. It's delicious. We all kind of find it semi odd, but this is very bizarre. Jan has written in, says uh, she heard us talking about boiling food. Says my grandmother used to boil a hamburger, and then crumble it up in her cornflakes. That's bizarre. Isn't wow. that? Oh. Well, it's kind of like a taco salad. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I, yeah, I guess, huh. I'm sure there's not milk involved. It's just no, a, a just crumbly. The, yeah. No, milk could be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I, I, you know, Christy, I think you've really hit the nail on the head. Yeah, it'd be taco salad-ish. Boiling the hamburger. But Why? that sounds tasteless. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to get rid of all the grease. Yeah. I didn't realize boiling meat would take all the grease out of it. Well, it floats up to the top and 
Yeah, you get the nice sheen. Yeah, like hot dog water, you know. I don't. I haven't boiled a hot dog since I lived in the trailer. Oh. They're delicious. <laughs> And by the way, Christy means that. She I lived mean, in a trailer. I did live in a yeah. mobile, manufactured home. Oh, I, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, good. Uh, now, um, uh, let's move on. What do you got over there? Idaho lawmakers are proposing a fine for marijuana possession. How much? Hmm. $420. Ah, uh, yeah. cute, cute. Uh-huh. According to the Idaho press, Representative Bruce Scogg introduced the legislation in the House State Affairs Committee. The Scogginator. That would create a minimum $420 fine for possession of any amount less than three ounces of the drug. The bill adds to existing felony penalties for possession of more than three ounces of marijuana, which is a prison sentence of up to five years Yikes. or a maximum fine of $10,000 or both. Was the 420 thing supposed to be some kind of a, just, is that just isn't random? No, it's well, a tiny clearly a marijuana. joke, yeah. 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 Maybe if they will to continue that sort of logic, maybe if you have more than three ounces, you should get stoned to death. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, is, that over- cute. is that overreacting? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it'd be it's a bit of a, kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, it, unless you get the one that gets stoned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be a bad way to go, don't you think? I do think so. Yeah. Mm. Do they make you get up once you drop? <laughs> um, I don't know if they can just continue to pelt you while you're on the ground. They must. They must, yeah. Hmm. It's been a while since I've read been that, stoned that or Shirley Jackson story. <laughs> Participated in a stoning? Uh, or? Okay. All right. Um, uh, now, now, Pat, uh, does, uh, you have, said you have a song in the... Uh, well, I love uh, that teddy bear story that uh, the guy, the cop was dressed up as a teddy bear. Oh, yeah, that... This sounds odd. I don't remember that. I don't have... Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's um, funny footage to watch. Yeah, it is. The video's hilarious. Yeah, I've, I've got the story if you'd like to hear it. Um, okay. I think we should. Uh, I don't you want to be... Don't, don't, that's don't, where we're going. Uh, okay, okay, uh, that's fine. Um, it took place in Peru, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I didn't uh, even know they had teddy bears in Peru. No. <laughs> I would have thought uh, teddy... Uh, um, whatever animal they're most familiar with. It was a Valentine's <laughs> teddy Day Teddy lemur thing. or something? Yeah. Uh, the police officer dresses a teddy bear to lure in a suspected dr- suspected drug dealer. Authorities what? believe an undercover officer delivered a Valentine's Day uh, card to the woman, thinking it would lure her out and allow them to make an arrest. Ah, uh, so he's dressed as a big teddy bear. Hey, come on out here. Get your... But the video, you see the cop as a teddy bear pinning the woman to the ground. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, so the... teddy bear is from Teddy Roosevelt, right? I've always heard that. So they probably don't even call a teddy bear a teddy bear in England, right? Maybe they just say stuffed bear or yeah, yeah, Churchill bear or but th- you see, Theodore. But you yes. see at the end of the video, the the bears walking. The bears got the lady cuffed, walking her to the. But he's still in the bear suit. Ah, yeah. Well, so, okay. silly. The weird thing is he took it off when he was on top of her and then put back on. Put it back on. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. You got a song about that? Man? I just can't believe it. You fell from a teddy bear. <laughs> Put these cuffs around your wrists, your hands up in the air. I can't believe he can't, can't believe you fell from a, a teddy bear. I'm big old cuddly bear hiding in the street. You druggies never knew I'm really just a cop on the beat. You're playing hide and seek with this teddy bear. You hid the drugs somewhere safe, but I found them by the stairs. I can't believe he can't, can't believe he fell for my teddy bear. Oh, I can't believe you fell for my teddy bear. What kind of drugs was it? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, some sort of a uh, stimulant. A variation uh. of cocaine. Oh, oh yeah. so it was uh. a cocaine bear. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah, that. They, uh, yeah, the video really is hilarious. I mean, I still have not seen. Did you see Cocaine Bear? I saw it in the theater. Oh, is that yeah, right? I rushed right out. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm kidding. There's a, two two particular scenes that make it worth the price of admission. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's the the photograph of the lady being led led away with the guy in the bear suit. Yeah. It, yeah. And there's and there are like armed cops everywhere. Yeah. There. <laughs> it, it, it would you think maybe that 
the person the teddy bear could have said, "Hey, why don't you handle this?" Yeah, because there are like ten other. Comics. So the humor is found in the fact that he's he's incongruously dressed as a, a a stuffed animal as opposed to wearing a proper police uniform. That's what makes this so funny. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and, and by the way, it's a really sweet looking teddy bear. Uh huh. Well, you don't want a scary teddy bear. Nobody's going to come out to that. Well, it's like a seven foot teddy bear. That'd be so adorable. But, but he looks so cute. Is it the one they hollow out? Like, isn't there one? Like at, at one of the big box stores, they have the giant teddy bears for Christmas. They're like eight feet tall. Yes. And that, there's always <clears throat> there's always video of somebody hiding in one when somebody's coming over. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Display, yeah. Teddy bear will move. Ooh. Tom has lost interest in everything <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> no, I, I'm trying to find a, what, what, a little more about the story. I, I hadn't looked at it before. Uh, what else have you got, Christy? Uh, there was a python in a guy's pants. A New York City man sentenced for smuggling three Burmese pythons in his pants through a U.S.-Canadian border crossing. That seems like two, at least two, too many. We are Burmese, if you please. <laughs> Mr. Yes, Calvin yes. Batista crossed into northern New York with the hidden reptiles on a bus from Montreal to New York City. We are Burmese, <laughs> if you don't, please. <laughs> the young adult snakes were hidden in the inner thigh of his pants. In snake bags tied to the pants <laughs> drawstring. Snake bag? <laughs> what yeah. else are you going to call them? <laughs> According to authorities, they were discovered by U.S. Customs officers. The 38-year-old now fined $5,000 and sentenced to a year of probation. Snake bags? Now we know what happened to those plastic sleeves that newspapers used to come in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. How can we pivot? Ah, snakes! <laughs> snake bags! How can we survive? Perfect. But Chick's right. I mean, one... Python in your pants. I guess <laughs> makes sense. It, as it, as much as as much sense as it can make. Yeah. But three. Hmm. Yeah. Well, at least they were babies. Well. Uh, <laughs> and then what's the point of smuggling in ball pythons? Like, you resell them. Hmm. Are they legal here? Are they, I don't know. These aren't the ones that are taking over the Everglades, are they? I'm not too sure. I think oh, all maybe. all kind of pythons are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or right. means they get really big, don't I these? think so. Yeah. 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 Mm. This is the one where they you did that, that video of the they cut the guy out of the snake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. no. You see that lump and it looks like some uh. dude. <laughs> Maybe it snakes could, that head is big? Maybe you could uh, dress somebody up in a teddy bear suit and have him cut out a guy from behind <laughs> that. That'd, that'd be kind of fun, right? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, now, uh, what do you got coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have a dead cow finally removed from the Ohio interstate. There's more to this story, you'll understand. Apes apparently have a sense of humor. Well, sure. Yes. Throwing feces is funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> they don't throw. It's funny. What do you mean like... they don't? They don't? I don't know. Do they? I've never. Sure. I've been around a lot of apes i've never seen them through you, ha you haven't seen that that awful awful video out there of the family enjoying the apes and uh, one of them hurls a, a, a handful of feces and it hits grandma right in the face oh you're there's... right i haven't seen that and she's that's a class she can't escape she's in a wheelchair are oh, you has, serious has to sit there and <laughs> break it's awful I want to go to zoo with the kids. Okay. Oh, God. What, uh, a uh, <laughs> what a day. What a day. The Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now, well, we just uh, finished the uh, the romance season with uh, Valentine's Day, maybe getting your romance all back where you want it to be. Uh, but uh, having a great romance is not easy. It can be work, and sometimes you got to work on yourself to help that thing out. That's where uh, therapy comes in, and BetterHelp is taking advantage of contemporary technology in the world of therapy. I'm talking about uh, using that uh, phone or that desktop that you've got and getting hooked up. The way it works is you uh, fill out a question a questionnaire online. You'll get matched with one of 25,000 licensed therapists. You can switch therapists at any time uh, for no additional charge. And the beauty of this is the therapy then is done online. So uh, it's much more flexible much more convenient. You don't have to leave work, get in your car, drive somewhere, sit around, wonder what's going on because uh, it's all done maybe just with your phone. And it can be done as a, like, a, like a FaceTime call or like a Zoom call or like a phone call or even just texting back and forth. What it's all about is doing what is best for you. Better help. It's a better way to access therapy. Get the details by going to uh, betterhelp.com slash BT show. Add the slash BT show for 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash BT show. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not, and to get in touch with yourself with therapy. And once again, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp.
help. Coming up, we have a happy, funny apes. Yes. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, Tim Cavanaugh, Mark Allison with you rolling through a Thursday. It's February 15th. Again, I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Glad you came on back to spend some time with us here on a Thursday morning as we roll through. Um, this Josh, is a, Josh is going to turn around one of your originals. <laughs> Josh, yeah. just take your phone and do it this way. I'll turn around. <laughs> You're going to hurt your neck. I can just see it now. You'll show up like Ted Kennedy at Mary Jo Kopechny's funeral. Josh, you don't have to. It's like he's in a movie. <laughs> he's going to have the big neck brace on. Yeah, isn't this weird for you? When I <laughs> yeah, see, now that you say it, now that, now that you've actually turned around, now it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> Is, isn't he new since we were here the last time? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't remember him. <laughs> I'm pretty forgettable. I, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you wore red so the devil could find you first. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that's how it worked. Yeah, yeah, see, this okay, um, uh, what's this tune called? Okay, that seems so to be what working. you asked for. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> what was that? Um, uh, yeah, this is a completely original song, and um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Leonard Skinner, but uh, apparently we resemble the guy. So okay. every time we play this, we're like, hey, Leonard Skinner. And we're like, no, we're the electric comic. <laughs> but uh, you guys want to try it? Sure. It goes a little something. Well, Ronnie wore big hats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he did. I, I don't know, Ronnie. <laughs> that reminds me of one of the other times we were here when that little fella with the gun said he was going to sue us because he was wearing a hat on stage long before Weeper. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, sadly, that's a true story. Uh, and yeah. then he stole a light bulb and lift. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. Tell, tell about that later. Boy, would yeah. you look at the time. <laughs>
my three pigs back to me. Give me three pigs, give me three pigs, mister, like a piggyback guarantee. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Electric Amish. All right. Yes. Completely original. Give me three pigs. What a classic. That is oh, yes. and I, quite and I, and a show and you got there. That's an idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 6'4". Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I got, a big, I got a gigantic, I got a huge SUV. Oh, I really? just look at the rear view thinking, I got to get some friends. <laughs> <laughs> rows and rows of seats, nobody in them. I just go from gas station to gas station. Hey, want to ride? Yeah. Tell them about your three-point plan for success, Greg. What is that? Where I, what? I bought the car is too expensive? Right. My house is too expensive? Right. Knock up a fat girl. I'm out of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Check success, that's yeah. Greg Hahn. Looks like <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. The essential morning radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's Tom Griswold over there. Good morning, Tom. Howdy doody. Howdy doody indeed. Um, now, uh, Christy, Yo. We're talking about this dead cow on the freeway. What's going on? Yeah, there was a dead cow that had fallen onto Ohio Interstate, and it's finally been removed. From a, from a truck? Or? The Dayton Daily News reports the large bovine mm. fell off a trailer traveling on I-675 when it caused significant traffic delays. The cow was badly injured and had to be euthanized. Oh, man. But it the remained... Word, the word euthanized, really, they... They really, uh... Yeah, know. that's a misdirection. Yeah, nothing about being young in that. No, more, the more about being dead. It remained Should have on called the it deadenized. What do you think? <laughs> it remained on the side of the road for several days with a towing notice attached. How funny is that? According to police, the cow's owner has since removed the animal. So the owner had to, well, I guess that would make sense. You have to move your own vehicle if you And and by the way, the good news, um uh he did get fined, but it wasn't too much because it wasn't a mooing violation. <laughs> hey! Moving violation. <laughs> see, because the cow was dead, you see. I'm yeah. alarmed at how much uh, I want to laugh at that. <laughs> oh, no. Moving violation. I'm alarmed at how much you want to laugh at yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. To celebrate Valentine's so, Day. Did they just like put one of those stickers on it you see in the freeway? Yeah, one of those orange stickers. <laughs> yep. There you oh, go. Oh, there it is. All is stiff legged and. Ooh. Yeah. Yep, oh, there Beaver Creek is. Rigor police. Rigor mortis. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah. It says this Aww. and vehicle has been crossed off the police notice, and it says cow. Yeah, this cow will be towed. <laughs> oh, oh God, that's funny. Hmm. You're gonna need a flatbed. How for are that, they gonna Earl. cow? Yeah, they're not gonna be able to hook it up to a tow truck How and drag pick, it. They gotta pick. They have to have a, like a crane or a yeah. forklift or something. Boy, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a mess, right? Yeah. That or some kind of uh, like you know medium to come and get the thing Poor alive that. again. And <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. To celebrate Valentine's Day, the owners of a lonely donkey have been looking to find him a new friend after his best friend, a goat, passed away. Oh, Dot and Carl Smith said they posted an appeal to find Harold the donkey a new friend for Valentine's Day after he lost his best friend, Billy, over Christmas. According to BBC, the couple has since been inundated with offers, and this week, Harold will meet potential suitors, a pair of pygmy goats, and a nanny goat who might join the family. Do you think Harold the donkey, do you think they're making a hairy ass joke? <laughs> By naming him Harold the donkey? Now, hmm. do you think that is... Uh, Answer me. Is naming, is naming a goat <laughs> Billy like naming a chihuahua Pepe? It's mm -hmm. kind of good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's yeah. 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 Remember, of course, no go originality to. at all. You remember <laughs> Nestor, the long-eared donkey? No. no. Isn't that a Christmas... Uh, I believe so. I think and it helps Christmas, out with like the manger. I think uh, it's a Christmas cartoon or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Was there with baby Jesus? It must have been um, in my in my um, my age group, I guess. That yeah. I don't remember that. You don't remember? Nestor I don't remember the Nestor. Long Nestor the long long I'd, like to, I'd like to learn more. Hmm. From the publication, The Proceedings of the Royal Society B, yes. new research indicates apes have a sense of humor. I bet they don't. A team <laughs> of primatologists report they have documented playful teasing seen as a precursor to joking. Breaking balls? In four great ape specimens. Great apes species, break balls, Tom. 
orangutans, what? chimpanzees, bonobos, and gorillas. Bonobos always wear in socks. Always, they are. <laughs> always wear socks. They are the horniest That's of the horniest all the apes. Right yeah, there, the absolutely. They're really? Like yep. Apes. They're Re wild. They are wild. <laughs> Researchers said it's common for teasers to repeatedly wave or swing a body part. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. That kind of thing. Object in the middle of the target's field of vision, hit or poke them, stare closely at their face, hit disrupt or poke. their movements, pull their hair, or perform other behaviors that were extremely difficult for the target to ignore. Oh, poke, 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 poke. Hey, hey. <laughs> So yeah, they see, think, I'm not it. touching you. Yeah. <laughs> so they think they're doing this as a joke? Yeah. As opposed to trying to get their attention for that's funny food or sexual favors? They're screwing with them. Well, you know, jokes can lead to sex. We all know that, right? Sure. Joking around. You think this is funny? <laughs> <laughs> you never played the states game with anybody? No. What's you just have a, you have a state in your mind, and you go, okay, until you guess the state, I can put my hand anywhere on your body. You've never done this? You've never done this? Now, do you have to write it down, or you just it's uh, done on the honor system? It's on the honor system. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, it's Maine, by the way. <laughs> okay. um, I'll be behind the couch. <laughs> so, exactly. Do the if apes, you can find me. <laughs> do the apes laugh? I mean, when they, cause yeah, apes will laugh. They jump up and down. and. Didn't, I just saw the video of the ape throwing feces at Grandma. He was laughing his head off. No Terrible. kidding. Yes. And Grandma's in a Terrible. wheelchair. Yes. Yeah, and she takes it right so do you think Right on the nose. Yeah. Yeah, so do you really think the ape, the ape would have thrown something else had it been available or that the poo was available? It looks like the ape makes it so that the poo is available. It's jumping up and down as if to work it out. Oh, really? And then yeah. as soon as it comes fresh. out, it's there to catch and throws. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it hits it. And then does the wow? Does this uh, ape wash up? They don't Wha show the ape anymore. Wash they just uh, wash up. No, I don't think what they do have think to. <laughs> yeah, so, they have those uh, hand sanitizers <laughs> in the ape uh, enclosure. They, got, they have know. Charmin right there for I'm the understand. ape. I mean, that's disgusting. It's, it's awful. Cage. I don't know how they took care of Grandma. I mean, she... Ooh. And they're laughing at her. Her family. Grandma's uh, yes. family. How do, you, how do you find this video? Oh, my God. Really? I'll send it to you. It's I just sent it to Christy. So it's uh, ape throws poo at Grandma. Yeah. Too. Don't throw it to me. I see it. Okay, darn. Right. Send it to me. <laughs> throw it. Get it? Officials uh, in Rhode Island. Do, do apes find it funny when you talk about other uh, uh, animals sort of in their realm, like macaques? Macaques. 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 They're macaques, oh. Tom. Oh, the, gr the, gr the gorilla I was talking to said it was macaque. No, no. <laughs> well, he was just, you seem, seemed like uh, he, was macaques or, he, he might have uh, been having a little joke uh, at your expense. Oh, I see. But yay big, furry. So, so then it proves the point then. That, yeah, yay yeah, big. That's a, that's a humor, you see. Oh, uh, well, boy. Officials in Rhode Island say a hiker killed a rabid coyote with his bare hands. No, it didn't. <laughs> Well, according to police, Josh, the hiker was attacked and bitten on the leg while walking in the woods of Johnston. Uh, the man pinned the animal down by its neck, killing it by cutting off its air supply. Holy oh, cow. The Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management and the Rhode Island Department of Health announced that the coyote has since tested positive for rabies. Wow. It was only the third report of a rabid coyote in Rhode Island since 1994. This is why, this is why you want to hike on a treadmill. Oh, yeah. 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 That's not gonna, <laughs> Get the nice pellets on screen. Not going to happen at the gym. No. That's right. Now you can put something on the screen. It looks like you're hiking. But. Have they updated the rabies thing where you get you don't have to get 15 so. shots in your stomach anymore? That used to be brutal, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> wow. I hope they have. I think so. I'll, that's a good question, Christine. I knew a guy who uh, killed a grizzly bear with his bare hands. He did, really? Yeah, the bear choked on him. <laughs> <laughs> You see, oh, I see. Uh, so There's a probably a better way for me to deliver it. I think so. The, uh, the, the bare hands yeah. twice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the, the, yeah, you're right. Yeah. There is a joke there. He uh -huh. choked on the hands after a eating the, eating the guy. Yeah. 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 So they're yeah. both dead. Yeah. 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 So it's wow. really not a win. Yeah. Or either, either of them. I'll work on it. And it's not funny. Zero. Oh! <laughs> you know what, Christy? That might be the problem. <laughs> There's, it's devoid of humor. No, I think it's very nice. I think the, I think the gorillas would have laughed at that. There is something there, but. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We'll sculpt it out. Hey, public health officials in Oregon have reported a case of bubonic plague. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. And they say the resident likely contracted the disease from a pet cat. Oh, is that right? Dr. Richard go. Fawcett said <laughs> Richard all... Richard Fawcett. <laughs> Dick, wait a minute. Dick, Dick, Dick Fawcett? Fawcett? <laughs> 
Boy, I can see why you didn't go with Dick. Well, you got, uh, well, let's take a look here. You got hot, you got cold, and you got your dick faucet. We, we call that a urinal, sir. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> they don't rub it too much. It'll spray up, spray it up Poor in Dr. Here. Richard Fawcett. Dickie Fawcett. Said all close contacts of the person and the cat have been contacted and provided medication. Isn't it time to, to, to phase... Richard out of naming. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, and, and Peter too. I Just wonder how like, many people as do we're doing it. But I mean, name their kids Richard now. I oh, know Richard's fine. It's, uh, Dick seems to be of, uh, you know. Yeah, but well, you're just begging for somebody to if call you're, you Dick. If you're in fourth grade and your name's Richard, you know what they're calling yeah. you on the. I don't know, Uncle Dick. Great uncle. He was our great uncle, and uh, so, he, so he uncle. insisted on being called Uncle Dick. So so uncle is what I heard. <laughs> So so, Uncle. Oh yeah. yeah. Great about yeah. Him. Isn't, isn't Uncle Dick the title of one of those uh, videos you were watching earlier? <laughs> yes. Uncle Dick and what happened to the Uncle, bananas for Valentine's Uncle Day? Uncle Dick and Aunt Fanny. Yeah. Step Dick. Step <laughs> yeah. Dick. What yeah, is that? You. I was just going to say the same thing. Pat. Why don't you go call your Uncle Dick or your Aunt Fanny? <laughs> That's from like uh, some sort of marine <laughs> boot camp or something. So is the, yeah. This is bubonic plague. Yeah, symptoms of bubonic plague include the sudden onset of fever, nausea, weakness, chills, and muscle aches. Isn't that... Everything? Everything. Everything? How did the cat get bubonic plague? If not diagnosed early, it can lead to bloodstream and lung infections, which are more severe and difficult to treat. That is not in the story and a very good question. I didn't realize I bubonic know. was still out there. I have no idea. Yeah. Is there... Are there other variations of the plague? I think There's there are one other, I think. Bubonic, Ebola, Ebola, black plague. Was the black plague uh, bubonic? I don't I know. think it was. I don't know either. I, I, I like boob uh, being, boob, in, boob, being yeah. in bubonic, yeah. What yeah. about Johnny Mnemonic? Is that anything? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't necessarily care for it. I was much happier with The Matrix when that came out. Yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I really like The Matrix. But the, 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 the word plague, I think, is really effective. Yeah, it is. You know, they, she said bubonic plague going, oh, my God. Yeah. So maybe they should have, you know, a few years ago, employed that word. Maybe it would have been more effective. As opposed to pandemic? Yeah. Yeah, mm. pandemic sounds, eh, sounds like a new t TV from Sony. <laughs> uh, hey, you seen that new Sony pandemic? That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's really good. Yeah. It's got surround sound. It's 360 degrees. It circles the whole room. Degrees. That's pandemic yeah, vision. 360? Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, so we got to watch out for the uh, the bubonic plague now? Apparently. Maybe is that from not, is that the one you get from not uh, burying your, the poop in the kitty litter? Oh, I think that's something else. That oh. uh, what is that called? But yeah, I uh, who knows. All right, I'm looking it up. Okay, well, you can report later. We... No, we'll just wait. Uh, bubonic plague <laughs> is transmitted through a bite of an infected flea or exposure to infected material through a break in the skin. Uh, well, that was uh, the whole thing with it. rats didn't actually cause it. The fleas on yeah, the rats did. Yeah, so I'm did, sure right? it was a flea, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know why we get uh, the, the bad rap on the plague thing. It was the fleas. <laughs> it wasn't us. Yeah, we, we were rats. getting it too. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that's a rat talking. Where was the bubonic plague? Where is this guy? It was in Oregon, Oregon. Okay. Portland. Well, they don't wash a lot of people. They're uh, hippies and stuff. Flannel hippies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, flannel hippies is what they are. <laughs> they love uh, flannel hippies. They have issues. Coffee, uh, uh, coffee uh, swimming. Coffee uh, swimming. Vagrant unhoused hippie on a penny farthing oh, with a banjo. <laughs> Dave Grohl loving. <laughs> yeah. Wearing a Save on red bone hat. <laughs> Saving up for the fish tour. <laughs> Barefoot walking. <laughs> yep. Authorities in New York seized over 100 exotic animals that were found inside a home on Long Island. List them all. The animals were discovered by authorities in the basement and backyard shed of a home in suburban North Belmore. According to NBC New York, the menagerie included a flock of ducks, quails, and chickens, which were housed near a variety of lizards and other reptiles, including an endangered tiger salamander. Other animals. <laughs> wow. Right. <laughs> That's a hideous looking thing. Yeah, yeah. Huge jaws. Other animals included a giant African snail, a sulcata tortoise, and a South American ostrich. Hmm. Humane Long Island said the owner was cited for 30 violations related to the illegal possession of animals. Authorities report that apparently the man was charging people to go into a tent to see these animals and pet some of them for birthday parties and the like. Hey, hey, you want to you yeah. touch my animals? Step right up. <laughs> Get in here. Got a little side hustle. Uh-huh. They're in the tent. Petting <laughs> They're in the tent. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> That's no weird, good. A lot of weird animal stories. A guy smuggling in pythons in his pants. Yeah. And uh, don't ostriches, aren't they dangerous? Don't they kick or something? They, uh, they spit. Do they? they? I thought that was camels. <laughs> no, no, camels, camels spit. spit most. But Llamas ostriches spit. spit. They do? <laughs> do they do they laugh after they spit at you like the monkeys? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. That's how an ostrich laughs. Seth MacFarlane taught us that. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't an ostrich just peck you? I would think it would peck yeah, you real good. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a striking snake. He would have a lot of uh, wind up, wouldn't he? Yeah. I think you're right on that. Yikes. Well, who was that damn uh, puppeteer with an ostrich type oh, thing? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't care who you are. If you can watch a Rod Hall and uh, for 20 seconds and not laugh hysterically, there's something wrong with you. I enjoy it, it, too. it was an emu. Oh, it was an emu? Yeah. 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 Hall and well, his emu. Yeah. Was it just his emu that didn't have a name? <laughs> I, I think it had a name. I don't think it did have a name. <laughs> I mean, the emus obviously made a big comeback with the insurance commercial. God, it was so funny, yeah, though. Yeah, it was such a, a, a wonderful effect. <laughs> Did this you prefer that to uh, what's his face and Madam, Madam Flowers? Uh, whatever it was. <laughs> that hideous, hideous I like thing. Waylon Flowers. And Waylon was in here. He was really nice. Mm-hmm. But Madam was so ugly. Yeah, was she true. meant to be? Oh yeah. 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 That was, he was great. Hey, a, who he was, was Madam? Uh, a, a, a mean person or uh, sassy old woman? <laughs> she was still a stiller to the test. I'm power. going down the rabbit hole today. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm YouTubing it all. But the, uh, the the was it Rob Rod, Rod, Hall? Rod, Rod Hall? Rod Hall. Rod Hall. He was an Australian. Yeah, yeah. Sad end. Oh, what? oh! Don't tell me that. I didn't know about that. the the <laughs> he died. finally attacked him. No, he. If I'm not mistaken, I finished to, him off. He was on the roof, adjusting a satellite dish. And no, he fell off. That's oh, no, Bo, that's Bo. That's Bo Diaz, Bo a major Diaz. league baseball player. That wasn't Rod Hull. <laughs> roof. Is Rod Hull still with us? No, no I don't. We got to get him in here. <laughs> He'd be in Vegas, wouldn't I'd he? I'd be overjoyed. No, Rod Hull died March 17th, I mean, you believe that emu had a mind of its own and was completely separate from that man. It's just pulling him down. I apologize to those of of you who don't know who we're referencing. uh, 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 17 March 1999, Rod Hull died from a serious skull fracture and chest injuries after falling off the roof of his bungalow. Okay, well, he wasn't crushed by a satellite dish. I didn't say crushed. He fell off the roof. I just said he fell off the roof. Well, now search Bo Diaz. Well, what's what's the emu doing now? Just laying there. Just hanging there. They bury him with him? Did you, did you do that? Oh, you know what? I bet they did. Holy cow. <laughs> the next time we talk to Dunham, can we ask if he's going to be buried with yeah. his <laughs> Which one will he pick? <laughs> it's got to be Walter. Walter you would think so? Yeah. This is bread and butter. He's got that new special out it's there. It's his meal ticket. Yeah, yeah. He's watched, I watched it. By all means, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I've lost all respect. Uh, do we have... Uh, <laughs> Who else fell off the roof and died? Jim? Bo Diaz. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. yes. Look it up. It's true. Yes, that no, is true. He didn't fall off. He was crushed by a satellite dish, I think. Well, Rod was trying to watch a soccer game. He was just trying to In Venezuela. It. So do you think the person inside watching the TV is... <laughs> That's it. That's Hold it. it. You, go, yep. you got it. Oh, what'd you do? Oh, man. <laughs> huh? Well, now I can't see Rod. it again. Hello? Rod? <laughs> Wow. You're right. To the of left. Of course I'm right. He was killed when a satellite dish he was suggesting on the roof of his Caracas home fell on him. Yes. That's rough. Jesus. Yes. Yeah, those things. Were, back then, those that things. That has to be all the celebrity deaths falling off roofs while adjusting TV. I so hope so. There can't to, be more. Way to half Do a coffee table book. Did you I ever have say, one of those really big I ones didn't. in your yard? I didn't. Oh. I did. I want to say Max well, McGee well. got hurt with a satellite dish, too, if not killed. Oh, the man. Wide receiver for the Packers. You had one of those really big satellite dishes yeah. in your yard? No, it was on the roof. Mm. They called them buds. Couldn't big, ugly it. dish. Buds. Whoa. Still up there, by the way. Satellite. Still up there. In my yeah. head. <laughs> yeah, the cable company, uh, although they, 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 the cable the company originally notches. agreed to wire the street, then they said they wouldn't wire until all the lots were full. Oh, So okay. I, I, I was so pissed. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I showed them. <laughs> Just I think it's amazing it. that you can you can bring that right up about how... how Mad you were, and almost be exactly the same mad. Really, oh, I still am. That's they, interesting. They yeah. screwed me, and but that thing's still up there. Hey, you oh. know what's good together? Peanut butter and jelly, a movie, and a popcorn. How about Raycon earbuds and the Bob and Tom show? Heck yeah, huh? That and Rod Hull and his fabulous emu. <laughs> That's right. And Raycon earbuds have those optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. They're comfortable. They actually stay in your ears. They will not fall out on the ground. Raycon's eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, 
Amazing quality audio at about half the price of other premium audio brands. And don't forget awesome features like noise isolation, three customizable sound profiles, and Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Thank you very much, uh, Chick McGee. Coming up, we have our history lesson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. In the last break, if you were with us, you know that we took a pair of um, uh, special panties known as the Club Vibe. And these panties have a uh, special vibrating device Very that uh, slips into a, a pocket in the uh, in the front of the most intimate area. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. in, the, in the front mm -hmm. naughty, I think. Right, is what the front naughty. naughty. Oh, yes, I like in, that. In that zone. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, Josh put them on, and, and then uh, Josh, did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah, not bad. And the way it worked, there was a button on the on. There's a remote control button, mm -hmm. and uh, Sadie and and Chick were able to press that button. It also well, and you talk into it, the sound activates it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So sound. we so yeah. as an experiment, we brought Dean our producer into the room who's a very fine guitarist and Dean happens to have a uh, bass oh, try no. playing a note on the bass and Christy see if it vibrates please all right here we go and and we should come up with a safe word no we should <laughs> need me to stop wait a minute what uh, note are, what yeah. note are safe. you choosing whoa, are you whoa. Whoa. Safe romantic safe note yeah because no doesn't mean no, when no you does safe it, the safe, safe word should be uh, chick oh I think getty chick? getty lee getty, getty lee Yell for Getty. Getty and we'll stop Getty okay Chick could be fine oh. I like that and remember you don't have to listen to the safe word <laughs> <laughs> so now when he hits the bass, tell me. That's if, not safe. Tell me if it that, vibrates. Bad advice. Bad when advice. He hits. Right, we'll start out with it. We'll start out with the G string right here. Ooh. Is that vibrating? Yeah. Is, the, is it still vibrating? Oh, yes. Is it indeed the G? <laughs> yeah. it picks up ambient sound. From okay, wait a minute. It's not inside. I'm not okay, the I don't know. Spot. <laughs> I don't know how much longer we can go. Her face is already flushed. <laughs> I don't hey, this think. is foreplay. That was just a foreplay note. Yeah. Uh, okay. Dean, do some of the kind of a beat let's, to well, it. Well, let's so see that. if she can take a low E right here. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Does that change the vibration? Yeah. Does it? Well, and it, it's sustaining. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting. I'm, I'm feeling a little left out over here. Uh, oh, do you have another you pair? You have a favor, women. Uh, we do have another pair. Okay, here's the funny thing. There's kind of a, a little delay between when you hit the when you number. hit the chord and then it oh, picks it up. <laughs> anticipation, oh. little oh, anticipation. We need con yeah. Oh boy! Does it vibrate? You know, none heart? of the bass players I ever dated okay, did this. Look. <laughs> Tom, yeah. look at her face. I mean, she she's getting all right. Yes. Do you, know, do you know the bass line to Whip and Post? Okay, that's not funny. <laughs> 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 no more news today, you guys. <laughs> uh, and I did not. Okay, okay. 
Oh, oh, oh wait, no, no, no. It looks like it, no, now it looks like it's actually painful. Safe word. Getty Lee! <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's comedian Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. TV Rogers is our guest. TV, uh, having just met you, I can um, guess you're obviously an, an athlete. Yeah, I work out a little bit. They have the whole thing where you pump weights and all that stuff. Yeah. You got to have a cardiovascular, man. Mm -hmm. I was playing basketball the other day. They made me guard the worst dude on the other teams. <laughs> it was a fat dude wearing thongs. Right? You know, like, oh! Standing on the court smoking a cigarette. You know I was in <laughs> And you couldn't keep up with I couldn't keep up with <laughs> <laughs> I got involved with that aerobics. Don't like aerobics, man. That's too much like sex. Yeah. Aerobics? Yeah, you sweat, muscles hurt, and then you got a woman up there telling you you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old uh, Eskimo trick uh, of how to uh, catch a polar bear. Now, you, what you do is you go cut a hole in the ice, right? Right? And then you take little peas and you place them strategically four inches apart all the way around the hole, right? And a polar bear will crawl up, and he'll look at it in very much curiosity as what is going on there. Now, when he bends over to take a pee, you kick him in the ice hole. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. <laughs> this is Bobbitt's. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy's here, and Josh, Ace. There's Pat Godwin. I'm Chick. Here's Tom. Today's history lesson, is that yeah, right? Yeah, I just got this real quick note. Uh, bubonic plague and black plague, apparently the same thing. Oh, okay. okay. All right. We got a case of bubonic plague hmm. in Oregon. Apparently the public is not to worry. That's what they say. Yeah, when I hear bubonic plague, I'm getting scared. Me too. I don't what about that. Ebola? I, that scares me more, Ebola. Mm. Is that where you yeah. bleed out? Yeah. Oh, oh man. You liquefy and it's airborne. Yeah, so. Yeah. Legionnaire's disease. I don't know about like, that. Well, then you get a good, nice looking hat. This is a bad cold. <laughs> oh, the Fez? The Fez thing? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking of? Don't you? Is that, oh, is that the green hat? I, I, I don't know. I think it's is red. It, is it red? Uh, but uh, yeah, anyways, I guess the, they've got the bubonic thing under control. Yeah. Well, we got a, we got a few of them we got to worry about out there. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. It is time for our history lesson. Time now for our history lesson. Do you know what day it is, Tom? It's uh, the 15th of February. That's very, very... Tax good. day. Tax day. So oh, no, 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 no. Very day. Oh, wait, wait, we're still top time? The Ides oh, of February. Um, <laughs> Two months. <laughs> this is an important day for us. Why? 1922. Skidoo! Guglielmo Marconi. Oh. Uh, begins regular broadcasts of the first radio. Good, good morning. I'm Marcody. Uh, Josh Marcody in the morning. And Joshy in the sidekick chair. <laughs> Wasn't that something? Yeah. Boy, I miss him. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, they did a, like a special uh, weekend, weekend, you know, they... they Marconi weekend? <laughs> yeah, they they played the only three songs they had over... over. It was hits uh, of the 20s? Yeah, let's see. Um, <laughs> a Cinderella premiered, the Disney version, in 1950. Pretty wow. sexy. I mean, uh, pretty uh, good movie. Have you seen, uh, there's a viral uh, video out there where Disney reuses their animation. Have you seen this? No. It's like 
there's a scene in the Jungle Book where Mowgli's walking up a hill, and it's the same one where Christopher Robin's walking up a hill. It's kind of interesting. Oh, actually. I don't blame him. Back it's just then, all yeah. identical. Yeah, it yeah. Saves, saves it in those days. Saves someone three and, weeks of yeah. tedious <laughs> yeah, work. Yeah. Cinderella's dancing around, and it's just, and then it's Snow White dancing around in the same exact scene with different coloring. Obviously. Did you have a favorite Disney cartoon growing up? Uh, I was not a Disney. More Looney Tunes. More Looney Tunes. Yeah, same yeah. here. Bugs and Daffy. I always me. watched them and liked them, but I, I always, I much preferred the Looney Tunes. I loved Mr. Toad. <laughs> oh. Is that right, <laughs> Mr. Toad? Before Mr. the band, Toad? before the ride got banned, or I love the ride. Especially. The ride was wild as it Mr. purported Toad's to be. Wild ride. Yeah. It had all. You'd like it. It had all that uh, old English. It's wind in the willows. Yeah, English manner stuff, and uh, you, you weren't a Mr. Toad guy. No. Try it uh, over the weekend. Give it a shot. Can you get Mr. Toad now? I don't think you I can. I don't know. Where you probably, probably can. Maybe yeah, everything's on the internet. Well, the Song <laughs> of the South isn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, Meet the Beatles ah. premiered uh, and uh, hit number one and stayed there for 11 weeks on this date in 1964, Pat. Okay. Somebody re uh, put up the, uh, someone reviewed uh, the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, and it was uh, an older gentleman at the time. This, Ed Sullivan at CBS has a lot of better things to do to put these four mo haircut mo haircutted <laughs> people. On. No that's kidding. That's funny. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Wow. Outraged. Yeah. Uh, oh, absolutely beside himself. <laughs> hated, the, hated the music. Hated about the how look. horrible the music yeah. was and how filthy they all looked. That yeah. Sullivan filled the theater with kids and girls uh, as opposed yeah, to he, an actual audience. He, uh, Sullivan planted women there so they'd scream and stuff. That Beatlemania stuff, those women were losing their minds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. oh it was nuts. <laughs> the Beatles couldn't hear what they were playing. I mean, they, it, they just were out of the, out of control. They, they, had, they had five number ones. At the I think same, every young. I'm, I'm sorry, they're the top five. Went to uh, all of them at the same time on the Billboard. I think all young oh, that's girls cool. have a crush like that. Sure, yeah. sure, but I mean, they just go I'll... to a One Direction show back in the day. Oh my lord, uh, couldn't hear a thing. Seventy-eight. Uh, Ted Bundy recaptured in Pensacola, Florida. Nineteen seventy-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, here we go. Uh, this is a good date in football, chick. In ninety-six, Bill Belichick fired. Well, Cleveland, Cleveland Browns. Browns. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Hit the door, Bill. There's a new uh, Patriots, Belichick, Tom Brady, the whole thing. Dynasty's coming up on uh, Apple. I think it starts tomorrow, streaming tomorrow. It's supposed to be inside. Uh, it's pretty good I, 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 from what I'm hearing. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday, uh, uh, 1564 Galileo. 1564. I don't know that song was that old. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Does video he do the him. Fandango yeah, still? I don't video know. of him Fandango. Uh -huh. uh, 1820, happy birthday, Susan B. Anthony. Mm. Do you think our listeners know who Susan B. Oh. Anthony even is? I hope it's so. on a coin, Probably, right? Yeah. So it's a coin toss. Of all the things... <laughs> Of all the things you talk about, you're worried if they know who Susan B. Anthony. Well, is. that that uh, dollar coin she was on, it was considered to be a massive failure. Are you aware that there was a dollar Susan B. Anthony coin? Yeah, sure. Have you yeah. ever, ever used one or had yeah. one? I had one back in when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. It was it was uh, uh, referred to as a butch buck. No, nope. I you had the only heard, one who referred I, to yeah. it as a butch no, buck. No one else did. Know. That was you. It wasn't Congress. Wasn't yeah. anybody but you. Okay, I, but this will make happy. <laughs> <laughs> 1907, <laughs> Caesar oh. Romero. Ah, yes. You know who Cesar Romero was, Christy? Batman. He's on Batman. He, he was the Joker. Joker. Yeah. What was the great no. thing about his makeup? What? He did not shave the mustache. They put the white face right over the mustache. He would not shave his mustache. <laughs> like Aykroyd's Nixon. Well, he wasn't the Joker yes, then, yes. was he? Yeah, he was the Joker. Yeah, was. Oh, yeah. okay. I yeah. thought the Joker... Oh, the Riddler was green. Right. Well, uh, no, Frank his Gorsh was green. green. His right. face wasn't it's, green. Okay. Well, the Riddler was yeah. the right Frank Gorsh. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we learn on today's show? Well, that's uh, that's an, uh, interesting you should ask, Tom. Uh, uh, the, this morning's show got off to kind of a bumpy start. We spent a lot of time on Bella Lugosi and yeah. Bela Lugosi. Bela or Bella? That's how there, we left you yesterday yeah. and we started uh, it this morning. You were right out of the gate uh, being uh, weird and everything. <laughs> Uh, orangutan and orangutan. Uh, we, we've talked about that for it's a orangutan, little bit. orangutan, right, Christy? Yeah, remember this? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to see the video of the gorilla throwing poop on Grandma. Oh, go to YouTube. It's well, How do you find funny. it? Just, I, I if would, you, you Google that, I think you'll find yeah, it. Yeah, Google Grandma <laughs> hit by monkey poop. And by all reports, the monkey does it on purpose. He knows what's I mean, going to happen. He knows that he's definitely throwing it at the people. Uh, yes. I got a real quick letter. Oh, this is uh, from Dennis. 
on a school field trip to the Toledo Zoo. The kid next to me was from another school. He was teasing a chimp with a peanut, holding it out and pulling it away when the chimp tried to take it. After a couple of times, the chimp, apparently tired of the game, picked up a handful of poop and threw it at the kid, hit him right in the face, and wedged in his glasses. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Wow. Appreciate that. It sounds like the kid kind of got what he deserved there. And we were also told today that uh, Tom was out and about in the wild, and he saw a woman <laughs> driving the exact same car that he was driving when he was going to get iced tea yesterday. And Tom got out of his car and looked at the woman and said, nice car. And surprisingly, she ignored him completely. <laughs> the exact same car. She didn't notice your car. That's that's. Uh, she, was, she was parked right next to me. So? Sometimes people are in their Who own Who are you heads. parked next to right now? I don't I was here first. I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Is that fair? fair? It is fair. And, it's the and same final. person every day. I've seen you get into that. Do you, do you park there every day? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's weird. You're not the second one here. Uh, Boy, we keep this up. I'm not going to be parked there tomorrow. I'll tell you that. Boy, this, is... uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom.